and uh, I'm happy to say hello everyone progressing you know hope everybody's having a wonderful afternoon so far now, mine has so, uh, been absolutely fantastic let me tell you absolutely amazing man no it hasn't actually been all that bad noodle and I went out and got some food before she had to go to work so that was pretty nice and uh, I mean after that wasn't so great I had to do some paperwork for my real job and whatnot not exactly fun, but not the end of the world either. That's why I was a little bit late. Hopefully, though, that's all sorted out and taken care of now. I won't have to worry about it anymore. We're just giving everybody another, like, uh, 30 seconds to pile on in if they are joining today. And then uh, after a little bit, want to give everybody more than enough time to get in here. But after a little bit, we're going to, uh, we have a couple different things to, to talk about, to bring up, to tell y'all couple small announcements nothing huge but a couple little things that i wanted to bring up and let everybody know make everyone aware of and whatnot fun things nothing bad thankfully so yes oh boy i am tired though let me tell you let's get the game audio on shall we hey rue what's up man happy to see you here and uh, happy to see you in the Discord server, too. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pretty lame at the moment. I want to talk to uh, Dorseman so we can get some extra community interaction stuff going on there and on Twitter and just, you know, on the socials in general. But, uh, but I appreciate you joining, and that'll be nice for when we do have the community day on Wednesday. Uh, took you long enough? Yeah, I know. <laughs> took, took, took a day or two, that's all, you know. Just a little bit of time. No big deal. All right. We're going to go ahead and start up the game. But like I said, we do have a couple things that I want to... Uh, a couple small announcements that I do want to bring up to everybody once we get around to that point. But I, I want to give it a little bit of time because I don't want to have to say it a few times. And I want to make sure everybody's got a chance to get here who's going to be here. Like uh, Nate, for instance. I don't know if he's going to be here or not. But I want to give him a chance to get here. Uh anyways close that menu there oh okay staff of hermes it's decorated with two snakes coiled onto the staff oh uh, shit okay and <laughs> now the ship is crashing wasn't the ship already crashed whenever we got on it i mean it's been like a uh a week since we played so you know my <laughs> my memory hardly lasts that long but i thought the ship was already kind of borked now it's just extra borked, I guess. I don't know. Earthquake, flood. <laughs> yep, nope, we're, we're going down. Now, I guess it was above water, huh? Because we were able to jump through some of the platforms to get up through it. I, I, I vaguely remember that now. Um, is that a person? I don't seem to be able to move. Uh, game. X isn't doing anything. Oh, triangle. Triangle's moving. Oh, okay, no, that's not a real person. That's a dead person. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I did. I don't remember the underwater stuff being in first person. Was it in first person? Maybe it was. Like I said, memory not great, man. It's it's possible it was in first person. I've just forgotten. Suddenly, uh, underwater FPS game. Oh. Okay, it's, it's a little hard to see whenever it's cloudy like this. Uh, we are definitely shooting you. How are you not dying? Are you dead now? No, it's still alive. Why are you still alive? Die, you bastard. <laughs> Just go away. Lord almighty. Alright, how did we move again? Was it triangle? Yeah, okay. Looks like triangle. This just feels... Like, the underwater section feels weird, man. I don't know why it's like every game feels the need to have an underwater section, you know? It, it's not necessary. I promise if anybody out there is considering making a video game. <laughs> like, like, you don't have to make a underwater level. It'll be fine. Nobody's gonna feel like they're missing out by not having an underwater section in the game, man. So we, like, locked onto that one over there, even though we weren't even really aiming at him. But this dude is 
it hitting him now? Or is he is he dead now? No, he's not dead. It's just like not locking onto some of them. It's inconsistent. It's weird, man. But yeah, like underwater levels are generally speaking like the worst levels in games anyways, you know? There's gotta be at least one. There doesn't though. There doesn't. Like I I, I know that's the 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 thing, right? <laughs> Like, every game has one, but it doesn't need it. The worst Mario levels, water levels, the worst Legend of Zelda levels, or dungeons, whatever. Underwater ones, man. It's just, the underwater stuff, it's generally not that great. <laughs> that was a very short mission. Like, it's fine, I guess. This isn't the most offensive underwater thing ever, but it wasn't necessary either. The only game I can think of off the top of my head that did underwater sections well was uh, actually an MMO, Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 was pretty, it was decent. Like, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty okay, you know? I still preferred the regular on land stuff, but the underwater stuff wasn't offensive. Like, the underwater stuff sometimes, like, it's the swim controls I hate. Yeah, I mean, like, the setting can be kind of neat, I guess. I agree with you there, but... The controls are usually terrible. The content, in my opinion, is usually just okay at best. Like, I don't know, man. I don't think it's all that necessary. Also, <coughs> ah, I feel like my cough's coming back worse today than it has been the last couple of days. And that is annoying. Uh, wasn't this ship just underwater? Did we crash somewhere? I'm sorry, I have to remember how to play. <laughs> Oh, that's right. We got the uh, we got the the grenade launcher at some point, and triangle was jump, and we got we got the air step. Okay, cool, cool. So we can do we can do the double jumps. We found a secret cave. Uh, okay. I guess we're going this way, and I guess we're fighting marionettes because <laughs> because why the hell not, right? Although, Grenade Launcher versus Marionette doesn't quite seem like a fair fight. There's treasure here, but there's nothing that can be used as a weapon. I mean, look, Dante, I know you got, like, that sweet demon hunting business thing that you got going on or whatever. But, like, bro, you shouldn't just say no to a free pile of gold. You know what I mean? Like, it's still gold. <laughs> it may not be a weapon, but it's probably worth a lot of money. Wait, that was a whole mission on its own, too? Okay. Or was that just like a submission leading to to the real mission, maybe? I don't know. Oh, that spike wall is definitely going to try to crush us at some point. Like, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that that spike wall is going to come over here and try to just fucking murder us. <laughs> I'd be more surprised if it doesn't, you know? The iron fence is blocking the way. No shit, thank you. Oh, man. So, how are you today, Rue? You having a pretty decent day, at least? I hope you are. I gotta say, my day hasn't been too bad. Noodle and I went out to eat. I got a uh, bacon cheeseburger with a side of fries. And then she got uh, chicken alfredo, of course, because that's what she always gets. <laughs> Both of them were delicious. We usually get, like, pepperoni logs as our starter for the meal, right? Our appetizer or whatever. And, like, the butter on it was thick. It was fresh uh very very good loved it oh uh one other thing that i do want to bring up hi here but can't hear uh well thank you for being here noodle uh thank you at uh, mr noodle yeah mr noodle's working today lame but uh the one thing that i can go ahead and bring up i don't mind bringing it up a couple times i suppose is uh we're doing a community event it should already be live um, I think, somewhere. I can't see the chat the same way everyone else can. But, uh, so basically you can donate your points to that and we're gonna do a, another 12-hour stream, assuming there's enough points donated to it. You have a month, so you got time. Don't worry, no rush. But, uh, yeah, if we get enough points generated and thrown towards that, we're gonna do another 12-hour stream day. I don't know yet if it'll take over the Saturday stream that we normally do, or if it'll be an extra stream on, like, a Wednesday. It depends on how mine and Noodle's schedules line up and things like that, because I'd prefer it to be a day where she's home and can help me with stuff and whatnot. So, don't know the exact day it's gonna happen yet, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oof, you gonna be able to handle that? I got this. It's not my first one. I'm pretty sure we met on my first one. I'm pretty sure. Emblem shield. A small shield. The emblem has the same shape as that of those sealing the doors of the Colosseum. And this is when we get impaled by this giant thing. Skeleton's arm appears to be a lever of some sort. Should I turn the lever? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? I'm sure it'll be fine. Definitely not going to get crushed by this giant spike wall. <laughs> the booby trap has activated. Oh, so the whole floor spins. Yes, okay, okay. Uh, so wait, is there any reason why... Oh, okay, it's spinning that way, that's why. <laughs> so is there any reason why we don't just let the, the floor carry us all the way over to where we need to go? But I guess that's why. That's right. It was the God of War stream. You're you're right, actually. You're totally right. Um, I remember because we were nerding out about anime. And uh, that's when you and Nate started talking and whatnot. Was it the... Maybe it was the... Uh, the 12 hour stream when you first subscribed. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I don't remember, but... Nah, fuck it. What's the worst that happens? We get a little stab. <laughs> so wait, this opened up. Is there any reason for us to go back over here? Like, there's no, there's no other reason, right? I, don't, I can't think of anything. Uh, jump. Nope. There we go. Strange floating platform for the win. Yeah, I think that's the one. I think so. I think that's what I was thinking. Regardless, <laughs> I remember you being there for the last 12-hour stream. And that was okay, you know? And since it's not going to be for at least a month, the 12-hour stream, I should have time to, uh, whatever ailment is, is bothering me. Hopefully should be, uh, <laughs> finished up by then. I remember you just think saying, oh god, I'm getting old to where I can't handle these like I used to. Yeah, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. By the end of the 12 hours, I'm sure I'll be tired as hell, but like, it'll be okay. That's why we get Noodle here, or I wanna do it on a day when Noodle's here, so that she can help me. She can bring me up food and drinks and all the things that I'll definitely end up forgetting uh, in the stream. Nourishment, you know? Because <laughs> I'm going to forget that I need nourishment sometimes. Speaking of uh, all of that stuff, I guess we'll just go ahead. I don't know if uh, Nate's going to make it to this one today or not. But, uh, so we'll go ahead and start getting into some of the other little things. Um, another thing, if anybody looks at the, the reward request stuff, like the... Uh, like the the take a drink, the stretch, um, the IRL word ban, all that. There's some new stuff in there. I don't remember all the new stuff that I added because I added a fair few things. But there's like a posture check one, which is you know whatever. Um, there is a if a mod wants to do uh, a poll for whatever reason, banning in-game actions. I feel like would be a fun one. Um, if we're in a game where you can drop your weapon, or I guess in like devil may cry here we could change our weapon or whatever there's a, a drop it command uh you could force me to run an ad for some reason i don't know why you'd want to do that one but you could uh <laughs> i guess maybe as a reminder more than anything because uh <laughs> and it started already uh emo only chat you can make me turn emo only on uh reverse reverse is where we uh mess up the controller if i remember correctly uh, lose the glasses. I can take off my glasses. And then the the fun one, I think, is uh, you can add a command. So obviously I have the uh, bot that's always running, right, in the background. And so I can do things like do the PS2, right? I can do that. Uh, so you could add your own command. Now obviously it has to be, it can't be like anything, you know, offensive or, or, or crazy, you know. But... I, uh, yeah, you can you can make me add a, a command, whatever you want. So you would tell me what you want the code to be and then what you want the command to say whenever it's ran. And then you can do that. No using your sword for five minutes. Okay, so just, just square. Squares only. Gotcha. <laughs> we can do that. 
Look at your redeems. I saw my redeems. I saw it. I was just going over all the other ones. Don't worry. I didn't miss you, Rue. So, grenade launcher. Uh, freaking. Now, you said no using my sword. Technically, that means I could go over here and go into the Ifrit. Because those aren't swords. Those are gauntlets. <laughs> So we could equip those, and then we could just use those to beat the hell out of people. That's technically allowed. You only get to pick one action that I'm not allowed to do. So... <laughs> do it. <laughs> um, where are we going anyways, though? Are we supposed to be jumping down here, maybe? I don't know. I'm actually a little bit lost. But yeah, so so that was fun. I got that thrown in there. I thought that would be a fun, a fun little thing for us to do. Um... Then we have the community event, which you can donate up to 2,000 points a day. Uh, no more than that. And like I said, if, if we hit the goal on that one, we'll be doing the 12-hour stream in a month or so. I forget exactly what I have the goal set on that one. I can pull that up, though, if I go into my settings here. Let me pull that up before I forget. We have... Do, do, do. Not leaderboards, not tiers. Oh, where is it? Channel, maybe. I don't think it's under channel. Stream? Do, 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 do. Oh, I... Where is it? There it is, channel points. Rewards and challenges. Yeah, it's a 12-hour stream. It is already started. The goal is 35,000 points in the next uh, 30 days. So it's a pretty big goal. I don't know for sure if we'll hit it or not, but fingers crossed, man, and I, I believe in y'all. Some of you guys have so many freaking points that it's insane, and there we go. Already got the first 2,000. Thank you, Rue. I appreciate the, uh, the donation of points there. And uh, yeah, I'm sure, like with the last one, Nate uh, donated a, a shit ton towards that one as well. So I'm sure once he finds out about it, he'll probably be up there and uh noodle i'm sure has a crap ton of points so i wouldn't be surprised if she ends up donating a lot as well but uh yeah i think we'll hit it i tried to make sure it was something attainable but i didn't want it to be like uh too easy because the first time i just did like twelve thousand or something like that for the first 12 hour stream and it ended up being like way too easy for for nate to <laughs> get all the points in there that were required and yeah so this one, this one hopefully is a little bit more of a challenge for y'all. Why can't we go in here? Oh, we can. We just need 200 red orbs. Dope. Let's go. What if we didn't have 200 red orbs before coming in here? How would we have gotten through this level? I don't actually know. I like how we're using like Ifrit gauntlets. But then our, our, we can also, like, use our heel. Like, our, our foot also catches on fire. <laughs> like, does it, did it, I guess it just, like, bestows us with magical abilities in general. Less than, like, the gauntlet that it's themselves just have magical abilities. So I guess it's more, more along those sort of lines, maybe. That makes sense. I just like the gauntlets because flames. I mean, that's fair, man. <laughs> Flames are pretty cool. I, <laughs> it's it's terrible. I've mentioned before how I had a uh, an unfortunate house fire when I was younger, and while like obviously I wish it wouldn't have happened, uh, I will say that like <laughs> pig ass bonfires, they're pretty as hell. Like <laughs> like it was terrible. Obviously, I wish it never would have happened. But uh, man, yeah, it's like it was pretty as everything was going up in flames. <laughs> what do we collect? Devil Star. So we get more... Uh, no, that's not the one that gives us more of the devil thing. It just refills our, our devil mode, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Ooh, that was a weird little secret area there. Just had red orbs rain down from the sky. My head kind of hurts today. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I just haven't drank enough today or what, but used 100 red orbs. Oh, man, they're going to steal all our damn red orbs. 
your family did too before you were born we ended up losing some pretty valuable stuff like a bible with a family tree and lots of heirlooms yeah like i said it sucks i mean uh any any sort of house fire definitely like sucks but uh, i won't deny that it was also pretty at the same time and uh as i've mentioned before i'm not much of a stuff person thankfully i'm most sad about the house itself because my great grandpa had built that house and uh and i mean i i grew up there you know so i was i was more sad about that thankfully it's still in the family and it may end up getting fixed up but uh that's where i lived and after the fire obviously i couldn't anymore which meant i had to start paying a shit ton of rent money and whatnot and that just sucks you know because since it was a house that our family had built and owned fully all we had to pay was property taxes on it every year or whatever and uh let me tell you, that's a hell of a lot cheaper than paying rent every month. <laughs> a hell of a lot cheaper. Fire is very pretty. Mandela tats, and my coworker isn't even here to see him. Noodle, you need to just like sneak a picture and then send it to your coworker. I'm joking. That's weird. Don't <laughs> don't sneak pictures of people. <laughs> oh, that does suck. It definitely does. It it really really does. But. It's the, uh, the end of the day. Or the end of the day. It's not the end of the world. Whatever. Man, I'm already fucking up words. But <laughs> it's not the end of the world, though. And it's, it'll be fine. Like, hey, nobody got hurt, and that's all that really matters. Use a shield and a pair of lances to conquer the Colosseum. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing we just gotta, we just gotta fight some big baddie here. There's already some big baddie music. Oh, yep. Spider, bro. Uh... <laughs> I wish the lock-on worked a little bit better. Oh, there's multiple spider bros. Why can't I? I forget how to fight them. All right, devil, devil mode. Let's go. Did we just kill it in one hit? I wanna, I wanna pick up the health that it dropped, please. Thank you. Okay, well that was way easier than I feel like it should have been to kill those dudes. <laughs> to be honest. Why the spiders? Death to them all. I don't see why y'all hate spiders so much. Spiders aren't that bad. It appears as though the knight should be holding something. Words are carved beneath the decoration. Da 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 da. Uh, yes, that's so we need. Okay, so do we put the shield over here and then. With red light, shall I use the emblem shield? Yeah, why not? I don't quite understand why the emblem shield took away the shield that was there. You would think you would, like, slot it in or something, but... I mean, hey, what do I know, man? I wasn't even good enough to play this game not on easy mode, so... <laughs> Is it just me, or is there something there? Oh, we had to, like, examine it. Luminite, a mysterious stone that shines in the dark. An ordinary stone that exists in the underworld has somehow, over time, gained different properties in the human world. Neat, I suppose. Why are there stones from the underworld, though, in this castle? I mean, it might be a dumb question. There are demons and shit from the underworld in this castle. So, like, <laughs> I guess, you know, a stone from the underworld isn't that big of a <laughs> surprise at the end of the day. All right, so there's, like, a normal door, but can we break through this door? Or door this wall? There's a light pouring out through the crack of the wall. Yes. Okay, that was easier than expected. Just break all the shit. Is there actually anything here? Or is it just like red orbs and shit for us? Oh yeah, okay, there's a yellow thingy. That's a uh, yellow orb, a sacred stone that brings back life after death. Oh, another revive. Good, because that's what we needed on easy mode. Like, <laughs> like Brian even worried about it. I do wish it was a little bit more balanced. That's the one thing I'll say about the game. I wish the difficulty was a little bit more balanced between easy and normal mode. At least on stream, it would have been nice to have something like easier than normal, but harder than, uh, harder than, e well, easy. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. The gauntlets, like, fill that thing up really quick, man. I thought we were going to have some trouble with that there. We would have had to switch back to the, uh, ooh, to the sword or something. But no, that's not bad. Because this is mega easy mode right now. It really is, man. It's disappointing. Like, 
Come on, get it, get it. Thank you. All right. Oh, maybe don't go in the spikes. But yeah, it's like the, the normal mode was a bit too hard. And if I was playing it alone, I would have just kept trying until I got it. But I didn't want to be stuck on stream with that forever. But then you have this, and yeah, it's just way too easy. I do also wish, though, the one other thing. The uh, control scheme that they have on easy mode is so much nicer than the control scheme that they have on normal mode. So I do wish that you could, like, use that control scheme all the time instead of just uh, on easy. That would have been nice as well. Uh, how do we jump again? <laughs> uh, okay, we're not doing anything with that, I guess. Oh, here's the spears. Okay. So we got the shield, now we need the we got the spear. So we can conquer the Colosseum question mark. Colosseum the Colosseum and trust the conqueror with the lance. The time has come to open the door. That's not foreboding or anything. A pair of lances that that's to be held by the knights who guard the gate. You cannot equip this item. Lame. I guess there's no way to go but down. Oh hi. <laughs> Just <laughs> took a moment to load there. <laughs> like when you're really lost in thought, man. A demon just appears beside you and it takes you a moment to realize that uh, maybe you should do something about them. In this hypothetical situation, we are these weird uh, lizard people, by the way. Like, <laughs> and Dante's the, the demon, bro. Just in case that wasn't clear enough. <laughs> oh. Um, other things to bring up. The podcast. As far as I'm aware, at this time, sadly, the podcast is not going to be happening tomorrow. Uh, I haven't heard anything from Jonathan, uh, the Dorseman, my co-host. So I have to assume that uh, he's not able to do it tomorrow. And again, I totally understand. He's got stuff going on. I, uh, I don't blame him for, for missing out on that the yeah 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 yeah. like he's okay nothing to, to seriously worry about or anything but uh yeah we're we are gonna have to take a break from it for for a week um as far as i'm aware again he could he could come in like last minute or something and uh be like yo you want to do the podcast still but it seems likely that we're gonna skip it for one week hopefully next week we'll be uh back up and running with that said uh there most likely will still be a release of the podcast on wednesday on youtube and all the different podcasting platforms um because i'll just go ahead and do the editing for that one while he's out that way we can still have one go live uh it'll be one that we recorded on twitch so if you've seen all of our uh if you've seen them all on twitch you won't be missing any content uh, though it will be you know edited slightly if you're into the more edited and less uh freeform content but I do mean slightly edited. Like, we don't take anything really out of what's said during the recording period. We just, uh, like, trim off the beginning and end, maybe uh, speed it up a little bit, cut out some of the the dead space where we're just thinking and stuff like that. Speaking of, Dead Space sounds like a wonderful game, man. I want to play Dead Space. <laughs> I haven't finished that series. I've, play, or I've beaten the first one all the way through. And I've played... I think I've beaten the second one. I think. Uh, but I don't think I've ever even played the third one, and I definitely should. Great game series, man, if you're into, uh, like, survival horror type of games. And I really like the way they did horror in Dead Space 2. I don't know if anybody else here has played it, but I think it was a, uh, a wonderful mix of, like, tense Resident Evil style, you know, where you're just, like, uh, worried about what might be around the next corner and all that BS. And then, uh, like, tense moments like that, as well as, like, your jump scares and shit. Uh, yes. Use the emblem shield. Might as well go on both sides, right? But, yeah. Great, great game series, in my opinion. Highly suggest it to anybody that's into those sorts of games. Magic Evil Glowy Door. There's a lot of Magic Evil Glowy Doors in this game, I've, uh, come to realize. <laughs> Is this just like a mirror of the other side? I'm assuming we need to go through both sides though, right? Like, I'm assuming it's not just like go to one and then you're done. It 
It's even got the same, like, broken wall with room and everything. But this one's got... What was that? A blue orb, I think I saw? Or blue fragment, whatever the hell. Yeah, blue orb fragment. Oh, shit, that was all four of them. Nice. That's more health? Vitality, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, as if uh, a health bar and then some wasn't already enough. What else is there? Holy water? Very cool, I guess. And is that another consumable? Nope. I guess that's just a set piece thing. It looks like an item we should be able to pick up, though. But I guess not. I guess not. Man, after this game, I'm excited to play Resident Evil 3 after this game. Even though it's been uh, quite a while since I've played a Resident Evil game. Oh, God. And uh, I've never actually played through Resident Evil 3 before. So it'll be my first time playing all the way through that one. I've beaten 1 and 2 multiple times on each. But not, not 3, though. Oh, my lord. Okay. We might have to switch back to the sword now. I was trying to use the gauntlets more because uh, fire is pretty cool and Rue's obviously enjoying it. But uh, these dudes, I think I just need the extra mobility afforded by the swords. <laughs> like, Because the gauntlets, powerful, but a little bit slow, man. All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's equip that. Yeah, we already equipped it. Go back. Ah, uh, don't die. Well, they can die. Don't me die. Okay, they're dead. Jesus, just freaking go. Dante. What do we got in here? Oh, yeah, that's right. There's, like, these glowing platforms. I don't know what they're about. Words are inscribed. Sacrifices become magical powers and rise as the connecting, at the connecting passage to the skywalk. I don't know what that means. Does that mean we need to go into, like, devil mode? No. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I feel like there's something we're supposed to do at these platforms, but... Nope. Beats me, man. Would that be instant death if we got stabbed by all those? Like, we can live through getting stabbed, obviously, as Dante. But, like, can we live through getting stabbed that many times? Uh, also, this is apparently poison water. So we probably don't want to be just standing in it like freaking dumbasses. But at the same time, I apparently can't platform. Holy hell. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what do we get? Nightmare Beta, a weapon formed in the underworld. Its powers are unknown. Wait, does that mean we can use it? Is it a gun or like a, a sword? It's a gun. That is a weird ass looking gun. What's it? Ooh. Is that a like a laser rifle? It is. And it has bounce and ricochets. Oh, that's pretty sick. And we can charge it up, man. Suddenly we're Samus. I like it. Do your do your little spiky thing, please. Alright. So we didn't have to go this way, I suppose, but uh, I am glad we did because uh, that was scary for a moment. Because uh, magic rifle thingy is cool. <laughs> uh, maybe not all that powerful, though. Also, can I not charge it up? That's weird. Can I only... I guess I can only charge it up when I'm not aiming at an enemy. Maybe that has something to to do with like the the control scheme on easy mode like it's just automatically firing it for us i don't know because normally we can charge it up uh wait i swear i was just charging it up a moment ago <laughs> now we can't why can't we charge it it's neat but it's uh it seems a little weak man see how many shots it takes just to kill one of the marionette bros I guess maybe that has something to do with, uh, you know, the fact that we were just using the grenade launcher, though. And the grenade launcher is powerful as all hell. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I can't charge it up anymore. I'm very confused. 
Hmm. Whatever. Uh, let's switch back to the gauntlets, though. For Rue's sake. If for it. Okay, so that should be everything now, right? We can do whatever... Whatever Coliseum thing it wants us to do. After we kill some more uh, ghosts, I'm assuming. Yeah. Ghosty bros. But I, like, cannot hit this dude. Why can't I hit you? <laughs> Get down here! <laughs> Bruh! I think having the mix of this weapon and the gauntlets may not be the best pick. Oh my lord. Because like the gauntlets are having trouble hitting these uh, these dudes up here. And then we can't use the, the new weapon, the new gun as a backup. We're going to have to get back to the sword for a minute. Or we may just have to switch our gun like back to the grenade launcher or something. Something that deals a little more power. All right, there's one down. Ah, oh, they're both dead. Okay, we really need some help, though. Is there another one somewhere? We still have the uh, the battle music. There you are. Do you wanna you wanna fight, bro? Come at me, bro. Oh, you're already dead. Holy shit. Okay, you didn't take long. And there's another one. Where do they keep coming from? Why are you all the way over there? Bruh, stop running! There we go. He's dead. Hey, and some health. Awesome, thank you. We needed that health. Alright, so... Did we go through these doors yet? I don't remember. Oh, there's something up there. What is, what is what? Oh, yeah, we've we've been here before, right? Yeah, because we hit this thing a bunch of times and then those platforms all like shiftify to, to the different places. So I don't think this is where we're meant to be right now. Although there is another star up there, but no. Yeah, no, I don't think this is where we need to be. Okay, let's go back. Got to be a door here somewhere that we're missing. Did the enemies come back again? Are they gonna come back every time we come into this area? Nah, bro. I don't. I don't care to keep fighting you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh wait, there was like the uh. Go oh, shit. Uh. There was the like uh the weird candles right that were leading somewhere in this area. Maybe that's where we need to go? Where where are the candles that were leading us somewhere? Still can't hear, but would you be mad if I bought a Peppa Pig coloring book? Seriously though, yeah, why? <laughs> I despise Peppa Pig, man. Not as much as I hate Caillou. I, I think that's the biggest jerk. Like, I just hate that little dude. But uh, <laughs> Peppa Pig is a close second though, man. I do not like Peppa. At all. Fuck Caillou. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That little shit. I am with you 100%. Suddenly we can charge again. Oh. And now we can't charge? Maybe the charging uses our devil powers or something like that. Oh, you know what? She wants to buy the Peppa Pig coloring book because she wants to leave pages of it all over the store. She probably wants to color them and then leave pages all over the store just to bother her boss. Because she was leaving a little Peppa Pig all over the, the store to bug her at one point. I guarantee you that's what it is. Okay, yeah, that did. That used all of our devil power whenever we used that. Okay, so the charge shot is uh related to that somehow, it seems. Okay. Where are we going now? We have a map, don't we? One of these buttons. Uh, floor select mode. 
No. Wait, 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 wait. Here we are. Here we are. The the people that should be holding something. There's a decoration resembling two knights. It appears as though the knight should be holding something. Where's the gaming card? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, pair of lance. Yes. There we are. Now we got it. I'm a dumbass. That's all. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be a boss fight. That's usually what you find in a Colosseum. Also, weird glowy purple thing over here and weird glowy blue thing in the middle. So that should be good. Oh, these are teleporters. That makes sense. Yeah, totally. <laughs> health. We'll take health. We need a run button, please. Dante wants to run. Not like run away, just wants to run faster. Ooh, yellow orb. We'll take the yellow orb. Your manager's already threatened <laughs> to fill your bag with roaches and crickets. Yeah, I'm just saying, if you get your bag filled with roaches, uh, you're not allowed to bring the bag home. Like, <laughs> that bag is staying at the store. That's all I'm saying, love. I know she can't hear me, but like, <laughs> use this as a threat to establish dominance. Oh, you're a bad influence, Rue. <laughs> All right, I guess we uh go into the big blue thingy. I can hear someone speaking to me inside my mind. Offer sacrifice to the Colosseum. It shall connect the path to the wheel of destiny. Oh, that that looks good. Big, big red lightning beast. Oh, it's that weird bird again. That bro. Okay, so this is actually doing damage. It's not much damage, but it's doing damage. I wonder, like, does it always use devil power to fire or only when we charge it up? I don't know. I feel like maybe we should use the, uh... Maybe we should use some of the, uh, the, the the grenade launcher. Holy shit, I couldn't remember what the hell it was called. Needle gun, the only weapon that could be... Oh, yeah, no, we don't care about the underwater one right now. <laughs> she was mad at me today until I saw I bought her a key. Is that because you were late to work? Noodle can't function without uh, coffee every day, so she wanted to get coffee. And, uh, so we stopped to get her one, but I was like, you're gonna be late. Like, she's like, it's fine. I'll just get my boss a tea. <laughs> oh, this bro's got all kinds of laser beams now, man. Yeah, see, because when we're using this weapon, we're actually gaining devil power. Whereas when we're using the other weapon, we're constantly out of it. So I feel like this weapon is just like draining the hell out of our, our devil meter. But if we charge it up all the way, <laughs> was that worth it? I don't know if that was actually worth it, to be honest. I mean, it's doing some damage, but compared to just using the grenade thing, I don't know, man. I think the grenades are actually better here. Plus, we can fill up our devil meter, and then whenever our devil meter's uh, filled up, we can, like, freaking fly ourselves and shit, so. Come down, you freaking bird. It'd be nice if I could, like, see <laughs> anything. Uh, like, where the bird is, where they're attacking from, something. That way I know where to dodge, maybe shoot. Sometimes I do like to shoot at the enemy, you know? Maybe I need to go up top. Ow. I do love being hit by things I can't see. <laughs> Aggressive headbangs. <laughs> right. Uh, hello, birdie. Are you up here? No. No bird up here either. Oh, we can actually, like, stand on that? I thought we'd fall back down through. I am getting hit, and I can't see. This is bullshit. We're gonna die. Holy shit, we're gonna die. 
All right, we're actually gonna have to use an item. This isn't even like that hard. It's just, I can't freaking see anything. So I don't know where to go or what, how to dodge. I guess he's like right above me. Like I'm not even hitting him though, am I? Okay, well that one hit him. But like only that one, hold on. Let's go back to, oh wait. Never mind, he's back down. Okay, we Gucci, we got this. Was it just a survival thing? Did we just have to survive an amount of time? Sorry, taking a drink. Die, bird. Hey, if you want to stay in view of the camera now, I would greatly appreciate it. Like, do whatever bullshit attacks you want, but just let me see you. <laughs> That's all I ask for. You want to stretch? Okay, we can take a stretch. I just took a drink. That's why I was <laughs> paused for a second, but I didn't stretch. We are going to have to take a break in like uh, 10, 15 minutes too, so. Them back cracks are always the best, man. Hey, then I can get snacks. Yes, get snacks. Snacks are to live for, like. No, don't fly all the way up there again. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, if you want to fly all the way up there and then, like, come down here to, to fight us or whatever, that's fine. How do we fly? <laughs> I know we can fly, but I don't remember how to fly. Uh, why aren't we flying? I want to fly, damn it. <laughs> it's not that it matters. This dude's about to die anyways, but, like... It's bothering the hell out of me that I couldn't remember how to fly. Especially because that the lightning thing we do when we're flying seems powerful as hell. Like, I wonder if we even get the grenade gun in the uh, normal game mode or if that's like an easy mode only thing. Because this thing deals buttloads of damage. Oh, oh, big, big pillars of energy. Oh no. He's dead. Just, just finish him off, Dante. Come on, put him out of his misery. Just, just, it's time to sleep, bird. There you are. <laughs> the real question here, Rue, is what kind of snacks today? Bruh, what? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Bruh, what? Why don't you just come down here and fight me yourself, Mundus? Mundus. Oh, yeah. No, he responded. <laughs> Not in the way he had hoped, maybe, but he had responded. <laughs> Thought it'd be like a prayer, never being answered. You beat him. Maybe it was too easy for you. Mundus. His heinous ways make me sick, killing even his own, like they were nothing. <laughs> you still don't like her? I'm sure it'll be fine. Sure. My 
mother used to always tell me that my father was a man who fought for the weak. He had courage and a righteous heart. In the name of my father, I will kill Mundus. I really wish there were subtitles for the regular uh, speaking parts, not just the weird demon speaking parts. Also, if she's like demon herself, why isn't she here just kind of helping us out? That's the one thing that like makes me not really trust her. Like, bro, you're part demon too. You got these weird lightning power things. Why aren't you here helping us fight and shit? There's something written. The king of Avalon shall turn the wheel of destiny and take the something to the beginning land. A round plate resembling destiny's repetitive cycle. Okay. Well, we got the thing. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We still got a few more minutes before we technically have to take the break. But since we just finished the mission, I think now is the perfect time. Saru, so, you can go get some snacks. <laughs> Everybody else, get up, stretch, get a drink, whatever you got to do. We're going to take a, just a few minute break and then we'll be back with uh, whatever else DMC has to throw at us. You can, you can move your dude, I can move my dude, and it's all good. And yeah, I mean, it still has a long, long way to go until there's actually anything to, to show off, obviously. But it's uh, it's progressing though, which is nice. Right, so we can we can swing things. We can we can jump with square because obviously that's the jump button. This game has weird controls, man. I'm going to fight you, stream. <laughs> I'm intentionally not telling Nate about the project. Um, he has to find out about it the same time that everybody else does. Even though normally I would uh, give him some insider info, <laughs> but he probably will get to play it before most people because I I like to use him as a tester. Maybe with your new desktop, you might actually be able to do it then. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to need testers and stuff for the game once I uh, have something really decent to test. So, yeah, by all means, man. Uh, why are you in my room now, Simon? What if I hit you with a stick? I kind of like it. Have you been up to the tower? Yes, I've been up to the tower, I think. How do we How do we hit people with sticks? <laughs> okay, the, he doesn't care. He just ignores it. Stick doesn't exist, apparently. It just phases right through him. She had a big-ass order, ran her food card, then your pimp had rebooted. To fix that, we have to reboot the whole system. You told her it was going to be a few minutes before it comes back up, and she said, okay. Well, it took, like, five minutes for it to come back up, and she started huffing and puffing, and at some point, she started slapping your pimp hat, telling it to hurry up. See, like, that sounds a bit annoying, but at the same time, like, that could have been playful, too, you know? I'm sure since it made you so angry, it wasn't playful and it was like uh, super annoying the way she was doing it. But, you know, it could be, I guess. Oh, hell, you've had pinpoint pads do that and it's a fucking pain because they take four fucking ever to reboot. Very true. Man, very true. Every time the power goes out in my store, which uh, for short periods of time is actually not that uncommon. And, oh, man, it sucks because every register in the store goes down, obviously, and then has to be rebooted, and it's a whole pain in the ass. Time to stick on the ground in this power. Totally gonna abuse it. Hell, yeah. Open front door? Not going outside. Okay. Is the house actually alive? Is there some Encanto shit going on in here? Uh, I have no idea what we're actually supposed to be doing. I thought we were supposed to just go up to the tower, but... I presume that's where I found the, the broom handle, the stick. And that doesn't seem to be what it wants us to do, since, you know, we're still just running around in circles. Couldn't send her to the other register, since one of her cards already went through. She was not being playful. <laughs> hey, guys. Baggies. 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 <laughs> All the random voice quips. Is that more salt? All right. Hope everybody had a chance to get their, their snacks and bathroom or whatever they had to do. I had a great stretch and some more drinking drink. Drinking drink? Drinky drink myself. <laughs> uh, and snack. Bruh, I love snacks. I have a little bit more of those pretzels left. The hot buffalo pretzels. That's probably what I'm going to end up eating here soon like after the stream or whatever 
Although at some point, I don't know when, but I gotta find time today somehow. I need to uh, cut up the chicken wings. I got chicken wings, but they're like the whole ones, so I gotta cut them apart into flats and drumsticks and actually and all that shit. Um, but yeah, 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 I got I got that because I'm gonna be deep frying me some wings here over the next couple of days. That's my plan. Unwrap, uh, unravel the mystery of the staff of Hermes. Okay, we can do that. I hope. <laughs> Wait, did we come down here just to go back up? I mean, I guess I, we got the Wheel of Destiny at, le at least, so, like, that's a bonus. Uh, where, what are we gonna do with the Wheel of Destiny, though? I don't know, man. I have no clue. <laughs> Hopefully the game gives us some sort of hint on where to go. Because I don't remember anywhere that asked for a wheel. Hmm. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken macaroni, chillin' with my homie. <laughs> that song is way catchier than it has any right to be, honestly. The chicken wing song, like... Oh wait, there's a path on the ground again. Maybe it's telling us where to go? Maybe? The game's giving us a little hinty hint? Right? 100% <laughs> man, like it is crazy. It also makes me hungry. This is fair, yes. I mean, they are some of the best things like in that song. Chicken wings, yes. Hot dogs, yes. Bologna, I mean, I like bologna sandwiches. I know they're not for everyone, but I like bologna sandwiches. Macaroni though, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pretty much any kind of macaroni, man, I'm here for it. Like macaroni with tomato juice, mac and cheese, uh, maybe like a rigatoni or whatever style sauce. Like, I do like me some macaroni. Just pasta in general is just, mm, fire. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, it was like, it was leading us this way, right? So this has to be the right way to go. Back to the castle. Oh, oh, what the hell just happened there? There's a message carved in the circle. The wheel of destiny shall guide you to the land of the beginning. Oh, hey, I think we figured out where to put the wheel, guys. <laughs> uh, I was thinking we had to take the staff of Hermes at the end of that bridge section, like right there in the beginning. Um, didn't it show like some sort of staff of Hermes or, or whatever? there so i was thinking maybe that's where we had to go maybe that's still where we have to go i don't know so, i mean this is just taking us back to the castle which we've already been in a fair bit now i really want pots i'm still hoping nana is making pot stickers i've never had homemade pot stickers that i can think of they're good i like pot stickers but i don't think i've ever had homemade ones uh, this is new. There used to be a statue here. There is no longer a statue here, but I also see a blue orb, so let's go grab that. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, but if there was something over there, does that mean that there could be something over here, too? Uh, no. Nothing over there. Never mind. <laughs> Got him in the frozen house. So not completely homemade, but still yummy. I mean, hey, frozen food is still some delicious shit. Like, I've got nothing against frozen food, man. Hmm. I feel like this horse is about to be struck by lightning. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess not the horse. The dude on the horse? Uh, Dracula? <laughs> Question mark? You ever had a hungry man? They fucking ghoul. I'm personally partial to, uh... Wait, why do we got one eye? That looked like us, but with one eye. Uh, <laughs> weird. Anyways, I'm personally partial to pot pies, man. I love pot pie. Like, the Marie Caliander pot pies, specifically, are my shit. I love them. <laughs> like, way more than I should, honestly. 
but they are so good. I like the banquet ones too, don't get me wrong. Like those are the, the banquet ones are the ones I grew up with. But as I've gotten older, I started eating the Marie Callender's ones because uh, they're larger than the banquet ones. So like one of them is a whole meal for me personally. And uh, I am here for it, man. Like, but the banquet ones, like I said, that's what we grew up on. Cause they're, I think they used to be under a dollar. I think they're a dollar now, but regardless, like, yeah, that shit is fire. Why can't I get the blue orb? I just want the orb. Oh my lord, I can't even jump up here now. There we go. Maybe I need to get higher. No, it doesn't look like I need to get higher. Why do you hate me? I'm done. I'm not getting that stupid orb. That orb's stupid. Nobody wants that orb. Where are we going? <laughs> uh, okay, no, it's, it's over this way, right? door yeah there it is i generally like fixed camera angle games but it's a little much in this one man like, it's very easy to get lost and have no idea which way i'm going uh y'all can just die if you want nobody will hold it against you well i say that mundus might hold it against you assuming y'all serve him as well Um, I'll be honest. I don't remember my way around here all that well. I think I know where we're going. Like I said, I think we're going to the, where the bridge like fell and it has that weird underwater section and whatnot. I think we're going over there and it turns out we are heading the right way. So that's good. I'm not completely lost. I looked it up. I don't remember how many missions there were in this game, but I think there were like 18. So we got to be getting close because I, I, I'm pretty sure we're like 16 missions in at this point. So we might be done with this game a little bit early tonight even. Got to destroy random suits armor. Like... Sorry, it's a requirement. Oh, this is new. Why did it show that puddle real big like that? What's going to come out of the puddle? Uh, okay, well, I can't touch the puddle. All right, and that charges up and then slowly uncharges. What? Huh. I'll be honest. I don't know what's going on here. There's a bunch of these things that we can hit. But when I hit one, they all fill up. So I don't think I need to hit, like, all of them or anything. Is it just me or some of those weird puddle looking... Not the big puddle, but the smaller puddles. Are some of them glowing more than others? Do I just have to touch all four of them? I don't know what's going on here. You haven't trusted Puddle since that Courage episode? Man, I need to rewatch Courage the Cowardly Dog. I don't remember much of it, to be honest. Okay, we're gonna let it run out. What happens when it runs out? Nothing. Okay, let's just go. Oh, nope. Door won't budge an inch, so never mind. Maybe we have to hit all four? Lady of the Puddle was scary. <laughs> I'm sure you're right. I just don't remember it. Like, at all. Okay. I hit all four. I can't go in the puddle. I can't seem to do anything here. Can I, can I examine this? No. Bruh, I am lost as fuck. So maybe like I, 
hit that one there a couple times. Run over, hit this one here a couple times. Oh, wait. Okay. That one, like, lit up bright. Maybe there's, like, a certain order we have to hit them in. Okay. So not that one. Okay, that one didn't make a sound. Oh, suddenly it's, like, green in here, too? That's weird. Okay, now what if we go back to this one? Will it make a sound again? No. What if we do that one and then this one? Nope. Do this one. And then this one over here? Across from each other? Bruh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm... Okay, now it's red. Like, it's changing colors in here. Okay, I'm gonna let it run out, and then I'm gonna see if I hit this one first, if it makes a sound again. No, it didn't. Okay. So what if I let it run all the way out and then hit this next one again? Maybe you have to let it run out and then fill each one up? Maybe. I. This is 100% me guessing. I have no idea. Game guide time? Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to see if it makes a sound or, or lights up brighter after waiting here. I'm going to uh, try that first. If not, then yeah, sure. Yeah, nope, that didn't seem to do anything. Strange. Huh, okay, yep. In the interest of keeping the stream moving along, I'm going to pull up a guide. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Devil May Cry Chapter 16. That's like one of the top <laughs> searches. Uh, once you cross the bridge, you can't go back outside, whatever. Yep, yep, yep. Nightmare is definitely a doozy. It's kind of scary to look at. Yeah, whatever. Wait, what? It would draw electricity from the... Hold on. Use the effort to kill this monster. If you use the officer, you will not damage it and cause it to multiply. Uh, head to the room with the airplane. Ignore the plasma inside and head into the long hallway. Uh, buy power-ups. If you need more red ur orbs, you can kill the plasmas. You want a vital star in stock and as high a life and devil trigger meter as possible when you enter the door leading to the cathedral. Then we fought Phantom for the first time. So we're in the right area. Uh, Nightmare is definitely a doozy. It's kind of scary to look at, too. In general, practice it and run. But when you've hit, hit hard. Also, in every room where you fight him, there are circular shield switches you need to attack to brighten the room. Uh, when you don't have any circle runes filled, he will try to swallow you? Wait, what? Phantom, oh, Phantom easy. Do some major damage, however, green stones won't come out. What? This guy tells me nothing. <laughs> like, it just says that we can hit the things on the wall to light up the rooms. Like, there you go. See, it's lit up, but we still can't go anywhere. I think the game glitched. I think someone was supposed to come out and fight us or something, but like, they didn't. This guide sucks. It doesn't even play the game. <laughs> Yeah, like, I think we were supposed to get attacked or something when we came in here. But, obviously, nothing happened. And I can't leave. Is there a video guide? Hold on, let me, uh, make sure I'm not missing something. How old are you? I'm 20-something. I don't know. Uh, oh, freaking ads, man, really? Go away, ad. Bruh. <laughs> 
Yeah, like all the the guide says is that hey, okay, there's gonna be a hard boss here, and he's gonna draw electricity from these things on the ground. Like that. That's all it's telling me. <laughs> like. <laughs> all right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Okay. So we we go back up here. Yep. We fight the little mini boss there. And then we go into this room. Okay. He's going into the cathedral. Same room we are. Oh, wait. No, no, no. He was buying power-ups first in this guide. Okay. So then after he bought power-ups, he hits the thing on the wall. Oh, my God. Guys, we're idiots. Specifically, I'm an idiot, but we're all idiots. You know what you have to do? Anybody want to guess on what you have to do before I do it? You got about 15 seconds. <laughs> I, I can't believe this is so simple. I'm so dumb. Here's what you do, guys, right? You come over to this puddle and you hit the X button. <laughs> ah! One who uh, knocks in the underworld shall borrow the strength from the blue stone. Bruh, that's all we had to do. We just had to hit X on the freaking pile of sludge in the middle of the room. How am I so dumb? <laughs> it even focused on it first. I just didn't realize that, like, yeah, we had to do anything with it. Uh, okay, so... Oh, he looks like that gun that we just unlocked, doesn't he? Uh, also, ow. Uh, how do we actually damage him, though? I didn't read that part in the guide. Maybe the grenade gun? Okay, grenade gun doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, hmm. Are you sending out little dudes? If I hurt the... Oh, nope, we're being eaten. <laughs> are we dead? Did us getting sucked in get us just, like, instantly killed? No, we are in the underworld now, I guess. Ah, it's these stupid skull bros again. Uh, skull bros that we can't shoot. Okay. The Shadow Realm? Kinda, yeah. Right? You know what? Let's switch back to the Ifrit, because this dude seems like... Seems like some sort of tanky dude. And these here are, like, slower but deal bigger damage. So, it, it seems to fit. Okay, well, the Skulls are a little harder to hit with it, maybe. I wish we could do, like, a proper air attack with this instead of just striking downwards. Hi, spider bro. Uh, you don't seem to be doing anything. Do I examine you? Christ's sakes, we need to learn to examine everything, apparently. Uh, okay. So far, nothing. Another, another spider bro. That we can't examine. I tried examining it. It's not doing anything. Okay, there's more more skulls. I'm assuming we have to murder all the skulls. That would make sense to me. The skulls only seem to come into life once we get close enough. Alright, big skull. Big skull with one eye. <laughs> Okay. The boss health bar's back. I can't see the boss, but <laughs> apparently he's here. Oh, it's the freaking spider, bro. Bruh, come on. Shouldn't you have given up already? You ain't even a boss at this point. You're just a little... BB spider, really. All right, is that everything? We can return. I'm assuming every time we get swallowed, we have to do that. So we should really try not to get swallowed. <laughs> Weird, normally I'm trying to be. Uh, anyways. All right, let's use the devil mode. Maybe, no, I don't want to be swallowed again. Uh. No, go away. Is it because the lights are out? Is that why he's doing this shit? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It seems like whenever the lights are out, he's just... Oh, man. I've... 
need to get to like his back. Yeah, there we go. I think maybe we should try that gun. Right? Like, seems like every time we hit him, you're getting back uh, devil power. Maybe, maybe that gun will be effective. Also, wow, he can put out some damage though. Holy shit, okay. Let's try, I'm gonna switch back to the Alistair. So I feel like we were we were doing a little better with that one. And then for guns, let's try this weird nightmare beta gun. Oh, dude, this boss's name is Nightmare, and this gun is Nightmare Beta. That's totally meant to be, like, the same thing or whatever. Like, it's gotta be. Okay, get out of there. I'm not convinced it's hurting him at all, though. Uh... Okay. Uh, tell you what, let's use... Oh man, I don't know. I guess let's just go back to the grenade launcher. Uh, whatever. And then just try to hit him in the back a couple times whenever the thing opens up. Go ahead and refill our health too. We're not like that close to death, but... No, don't shoot the wall. Shoot the dude. I mean, that's doing some damage to him at least, you know? Not like a shit ton, but it's doing some. And I feel like the other gun wasn't really doing any any damage. Although I feel like the most damage we did was when we got sucked up into the Shadow Realm. So I almost wonder if that's what we want to do, is just, just be in the Shadow Realm. Oh no, there we go, okay, yeah. So that was definitely the way to go with that thing. Using uh, Alistair and hitting the, the the thing on his back. All right, we probably need to get the light going again. I feel like it's probably getting low. Right, stop all oh, your shooting, man. <laughs> it's a good thing we are on easy mode. I'd be so screwed right now if we weren't. <laughs> Just to be honest, man. Like, yeah, we would be in a world of hurt right now. <laughs> Yes! Kill him! Oh, he's dead? That ended sooner than I expected. <laughs> he's dead. Okay. I think Nate might be here now. Are you here, Nate? If you're here, say hello. <laughs> if you can. You might be uh, dashing or whatever. But I think I just saw you pop up online for a second. Huh. <sighs> Boy. We went the wrong way. Hold on. Gotta go back in there. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the wrong way. We want to go through this door. Only message if you're not driving. Yes! Nobody text and drive, please. That is just stupidly dangerous and for nothing. Unless someone's, like, already dying, it's not that important. <laughs> oh. I really don't want to fall down to the bottom and have to deal with all the underwater BS again, so... Then the boss shows up again. Tell that to my mom. <laughs> it's reacting to the growing evil surge of the darkness. Should I use the Staff of Hermes? Uh, yeah. Bruh. That's what I was waiting for when we had to go back in the cathedral, honestly. But at least now we know how to deal with it, so it wouldn't be that bad. And yeah, my mom never really texts and drive, but she was somebody that talked on the phone constantly while driving. It annoyed the shit out of me, man. I'm guessing Mario... Yeah, yeah. Super Mario 64 style, man. Going in the paintings. Staff of Medical Symbol. <laughs> you can't call it that. That's not nearly, like, you know, dark enough, man. It's gotta it's gotta sound cool and rugged and, and, and mystical. <laughs> Staff of Hermes now. That's, uh, that's where it's at, okay? Staff of medical symbol. Ugh. Imagine. <laughs> staff of dead medical. <laughs> so, the staff of necromancy? 
<laughs> Is that what we got? I'm into it, man. The Staff of Necromancy. Better than the Staff of Necrophilia. That's all I'm saying. That's a staff we don't want to get into. <laughs> yeah, that's way better. Slash away the dragon and enter the court with the Quicksilver. Okay. Hello, dragon. I am here to slay you. And get something called Quicksilver. Isn't that what they used to call uh, Mercury? Quicksilver? Be gone, dragon. Oh, more marionettes. I'm surprised this late into the game they still keep showing up like they do. I would have thought they would have been a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, like, uh, abandoned by now, I guess. In favor of, of stronger beings. Maybe you feel like, yes, I'm pretty sure it was Mercury they used to call Quicksilver. Though I've definitely been wrong about things before, man, so who knows? Maybe it was Silver. <laughs> no. Ooh. Two more paintings, hey? Oh, but only one's lighting up. Strange. Okay, well, go through the one that's lighting up then. Hello, dragon. Oh, uh, nope. Oh, great. Uh, so the one tip I did get while we were uh, looking up hints there to try to figure out what to do uh, when I was being a dumbass is do not attack these things with the uh, Alistair. Using the Alistair on them just make them multiply. Which, I mean, I guess makes sense, right? They're they're lightning beasts. So using a, a lightning sword on lightning beasts, probably not the smartest thing. Why can't we hit this one? Just just shoot him for Christ's sake. He's right there, just, just murder him. Pick up the orbs before they disappear. We haven't even spent the orbs in, like, forever, but... I'm gonna... I gotta collect them. If they're gonna be there, I gotta get them. That's just how it is. Uh, this way? Have we been through this section? I don't quite remember this section of the castle. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, okay, so this is where we gotta put the Quicksilver or whatever. Show the gem with the moonlight. Okay. I'm assuming we'll get that when we murder the dragon. Uh, I had to. I had to go back. I had to get the single red orb. <laughs> It's not like we have 7,500 of them saved up. That single red orb was super important, man. All right, marionette bros, just get out the way. We're tired of dealing with you, to be honest. No orb left behind. This is very true, man. That's our policy here on the stream of the Steam channel. <laughs> I need, I need to change my channel name. It just feels weird changing it now. Because it's been a thing for so long. But honestly, I've never really liked the name. It just made sense for what I used to want to do with the channel. You know? But nowadays, it's like, yeah. Meh. It just is what it is, I suppose. We need a new name to... Blah, blah. You know, you can't... <laughs> you can't judge how hard it is to say based off of me, though. Because obviously, I just can't say anything. <laughs> Hi, dragon. A strange power has something. I've got to find a way to defeat the dragon. Okay. Uh, mirror? Nope. Can't do anything with the mirror. Or at least what I thought was a mirror. Ow. <laughs> Stream all the stream. Yeah, I've done that before, too. <laughs> like I said, it, just, it, seems, it feels weird to change it now that it's like an established channel. Um, but I don't know. And to be honest, I don't even know what I would change it to either. Like, that's the other problem. Oh, good. He can't shoot us here. Okay. Power of the dragon has control over it now. It can't be moved. Well, 
Then what do I do? Maybe we can all come up with something then? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm here for it, man. Like, if anybody's got ideas, I'm, I'm listening, but... Yeah, I'm trying to find a way to defeat the dragon game. <laughs> Maybe give me a hint. Uh, nothing out here? What about on the other side, then? I'm assuming there'll be, like, an outdoor section over here, too. Nope. Dragon, bruh, chill for just a moment. <laughs> Uh, jump up here. And then I'm assuming I can't jump over here, right? Yeah, no, just keep getting that strange power as in front of me. Okay. So we can't crank that one crank. Can I, can I talk to the dragon? Hello, dragon, sir? No, okay. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Did we miss something down here? Maybe if I go into god mode, can I use it now? No. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stone? There's something written. Uh, prove your bravery with your sword and the dragon will fall in its own flame. Oh, we gotta hit it back. We gotta hit it back. I'm sure that's it. I'm positive. We just gotta hit it back. Yeah, boy. <laughs> there we go. Got it. <laughs> Tennis time. Exactly. That's all it was, man. Too freaking easy. Here looks like it'll swivel, but it can't be turned directly. Okay. Uh, so let's swivel it then. Swivel it up, boy. Let's go. How far do we swivel? No one knows. Uh, probably right to there, actually. <laughs> and that looks like a ball of quicksilver to me. Let's go. Heck yeah. So it already hit the one up top, so we don't have to hit the one up top again, I'm assuming. Um, these platforms that keep appearing and disappearing, can I stand on them? Probably, if I could actually, like, jump on them. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let's just do it this way. Just, it's just straight over, right? Yeah, like, it's just right there. Okay, yeah, we can. We can, we can. We're good. I got this. And then, single jump. Uh, Mr. Lightning, sir. I need to see, please. Thank you. And one more. Done and dusted. Quicksilver, a crystal ball filled with mercury. Caught it. The mercury has lunar powers that will open sealed doors. I don't think it does, actually. I think it's just poisonous. And if you ingest enough of it, maybe you'll start hallucinating. And that's where, like, all of its quote-unquote mystical powers came from. But, you know, it's fine. Whatever. Don't eat mercury, kids. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> All right, where was that door that had the hole? There was a door with a hole, and we had to put something in the hole. We can now put something in the hole. So let's go to the hole. The hole on the door. This one. The door won't open. Round hole. Show the gem with the moonlight. Quicksilver. Let's go. End of mission? That dragon was actually way too easy to beat, man. I'm a little disappointed, honestly. I was hoping for, like, a big fight with a dragon. Like, another boss, but... Hey! It's you again! A man with guts and honor. I like that. But it's a shame you serve Mundus. <laughs> Ghost of Dad? That's what I'm thinking, too, honestly. Is that this is somehow related to his dad. Because it kind of looks like uh, Dante in the devil form, doesn't it? So maybe his dad was imprisoned by Mundus, or uh, his dad just wasn't who he thought he was. S 
something along those lines. Like, seriously, he looks like Sparta? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking too, man, honestly. Like... Hey! Grosive. Uh, or maybe it's our bro! It could be our brother! Didn't he I know we have a brother. And his brother's already established at this point, right? I'm pretty sure. Also, are we cheesing this right now? Like... <laughs> I feel like we're, we're cheesing this a little bit by having him stuck in this corner. Uh, Virgil, is that it? I honestly don't remember. Cheap shots? Yeah, I feel like... I feel like this is a little bit of a, a cheese strategy here. And now we have our, our double power back again. <laughs> well, what should have probably been a pretty epic fight has been reduced to a uh, mashing circle repeatedly. But, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Maybe that was just stage one. Stage two will be much harder, I'm sure. <laughs> God. Big moans and big explosions. That's what I'm into. <laughs> Is he gone? Hey, it's an amulet. Kind of like ours. Hmm. Weird. I'm sure that doesn't mean anything at all. <laughs> uh, double called it? Yeah. Oh. I don't think y'all can hear it, but someone just said Virgil, Dante. Yeah, definitely brother. Definitely brother Virgil. Trish, Virgil has been defeated. Ah. Uh, no, Trish was a bitch all along. Yes, master. How fucking dare he? <laughs> How fucking dare she, man? Trish. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Told you, never saw it coming. Not in a million years that I think the random devil lady that tried to kill us in the beginning of the game might be a traitor. Oh no. <laughs> oh. All right, we'll do a quick save, of course. How, what time? It's been about 40 some minutes. You suck at lying. <laughs> What do you mean, man? Nah. Nah. Oh, man. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to finish because I think this is the last mission, right? Because this is should be mission 18. How many missions are in Devil May Cry 1? Devil May Cry has 23. Okay. Okay, so never mind. There should be a few left. Maybe this next mission won't be super long. Oh, wait, but is that counting the the side missions? Does that make Cry 1 have a story? No shit, of course it does. <laughs> 20 chapters? See, this is saying 23. This is saying 20. Uh, I don't know, whatever. We're going to try it. We're going to try to get through the next mission. Before. I mean, we're, we still have plenty of time to stream in the day. I just meant before the next break. Mission 18. Spirit Stone Elixir. Throw the Philosopher's Egg into the fire and transform in it into a Spirit Stone. Alright, well, before we do that, we should be able to buy some power-ups, right? Magma Drive. Change charge power and release it in the form of a Magma Uppercut. Rolling Blaze. Surround the body in flame and damage enemies upon contact. And Inferno. Create a wall of fire and burn everything within range. Sure, why not? Let's get the two special attack things that don't have, like, levels. And then I guess Magma Drive would be the next one to get. Philosopher Stone much? Exactly. Don't have enough red orbs. Your mom doesn't have enough red orbs. Got them. So there's somewhere between 18 and 23 missions. That's that's all we know for sure. <laughs> Watch there be like 24 or something. 
We got the perfect amulet, the combined form of Dante's Pendant and Dark Knight's Pendant. It allows entry into the underworld. So we can be like full demons now. Ooh. Suddenly we got a, a meat cleaver. <laughs> I mean a cleaver made of meat. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking, not gonna lie. Kind of weird that it's like made of flesh, but Sparta. It's the true form of the Force Edge, the sword wielded by the legendary Dark Knight, Sparta. Epic sword. Kind of sucks that we just spent all those points on the other sword, though, now that we got this beast. Does this one, I'm assuming it'll have a uh, devil mode now that we like unlocked its true power. Oh, look, the other painting's open. <laughs> Dad, we shall carry on your legacy. Yeah, those are words I never thought I'd say. <laughs> oh, no, not underwater again. Boo. Boo the water. Uh, follow the red orb. Instead of following the red yellow brick road, we just uh, follow the red orbs. Maybe break some shit every once Oh no, there's red orbs over there and over there. Now I don't know which way to go. I'm lost. Uh, I don't know. Just go, go to the black void. Oh. Witches? The witches with scissors and underwater? Trash. I love how they give us this epic sword and then immediately send us underwater where we can't even use the epic sword. Like, <laughs> like that, that just seems like some bad level design, man. And I understand they're like ghost witches or whatever. The fact that they can go like into the wall where we can't damage them. Come on, man. Cheap. Just, just come out already. Yes, your your big scissors are very scary, lady. Now die, please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. Go this way. Yes, out of the water. Thank you. Oh, I should have jumped. There was a red orb. Can I go back and get it? Give me orb. Thank you. <laughs> We needed those whole, like, three orbs or whatever we collected there. So it seems like the uh, Sparta sword has roughly the same powers that the uh, Alistair sword had. As far as, like, the, the move set. Oh, you know what food I got today? Or not today, but what food I have to eat later after the stream or whatever. Pizza. I'm excited for the pizza. Noodle and I always order pizza on Fridays. And, uh, of course I got some leftovers. Did I not swim up fast enough? Or, like... I'm guessing we just had to be quick. Faster, please! Okay. Right here? Maybe? Uh... You? Philosopher's Egg. Material used in alchemy. Very nice. Okay. And then... Where do we take the Philosopher's Egg to again? <laughs> I'm sure it told us, but I don't remember, guys. Uh... It's not gonna tell us from here, is it? Actions. Weapons. That looks sick. Anyways, uh, <laughs> file, mission. You can check your current mission. Throw the philosopher egg into the fire. Transform it into a spirit stone. Okay, so it didn't really tell us like exactly where to go. The knight is pointing this way though. So I'm guessing that's a hint of some kind. Uh, the knight is also pointing this way, that one is. So both the knights are pointing right here. So do I just jump down here? 
I don't know if that was the right thing. Maybe? Hey, there's a door. Let's go through the door. We, sh we shall do that. <laughs> hey, that looks like a fire. Put the stone in the fire. Those who seek the truth shall put the egg in the basket and shall warm it slowly with care. It'll become a blue stone in the landmark to the rough roads. Shall I use the philosopher's egg? Yes, please. It may take some time for it to transform. So don't die in the meantime. Oh, uh, we're fighting this dude again. This game really likes to reuse bosses. I'm hoping since we have the uh, new sword here, it won't be all that hard to murder him. Oh, no, we don't have the, the devil ability with the sword anymore. Yeah, no, it's gone. It's doing a shit ton of damage. Like, it's a very powerful sword. But yeah, we don't have the, uh... I forget what it's actually called, but... We don't have the ability to transform at all. Just, just keep attacking. It's fine. We have, like, basically unlimited health. Alright, make sure we get the lights back on. Boo, that sucks. Yeah. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. The devil mode is cool, though. But, I mean, the sword's powerful as hell, so I feel like that makes up for it. You adjusted your setup a little bit. I hope you're comfy. Comfort is key in all things. Uh, we might actually need to use the health file or whatever. Also, the lights are about to go back out again. Lights on, please. Where? Orb. Destroy the orb, please. Why do you keep hiding the orb from me, game? <laughs> Wait, so if we don't have... Okay. Oh, pause, please. Pause. Holy shit, game. Uh, Vital Star. Use. Yes. I mean, true. Yeah, my monitor was super low. You were getting a headache. Yeah, but I keep mine probably about a foot and a half, two feet away, which I feel like is still pretty close, honestly, but it's good enough for me. Uh, but I wonder if, since we don't have the, the devil mode thing anymore, the devil trigger or whatever it's called, I wonder if we can still use the nightmare gun or not. Or if it's not available to us since it's, uh, since we don't have any of that, that, that ability, like the, the, Devil trigger power or whatever the hell. This doesn't seem like a very good... Ow. Very good boss killing sword. Just because of... Uh, like being able to go into devil trigger really does a lot for us. Transformation is complete. Sick. No orb left behind. Yes. <laughs> Didn't really think it would be a problem, but man, it's already so much better. Uh, that's good, honestly. I'm glad you're more comfortable. Eye strain is a real thing, man. A strange voice from the transformed stone is echoing inside my head. I am the first key to opening the gate of the underworld. The second key is something that I accidentally clicked through too quickly. It's the metamorphic form of the philosopher's egg. You can unseal the spell of the mirror. Is that what it said? That was that. Okay, that was that. All right, well, that takes us right up to basically time to take a break. So, we're going to do that. I'm going to run downstairs, use the bathroom real quick, and uh, maybe grab a drink. We'll be right back in just a few minutes, guys. Thank you again for being here with me. I appreciate y'all, especially you, Rue. Be back, guys. That's got to be, like, oats or something, right? Oats or... or, or some some sort of food thing oh no it's the the things the things that do the spitting in eyes press the start button to go to the pause menu where you can change settings read about active quests and view your status notebook from the options page you can quit to the main menu or just game options now press r1 to move to the quest page if you are stuck check the quest page most quests have several tasks select a quest or task and press x for more details View the character page to see which attacks have been unlocked. Info about your your current sprite power and item collection details. Okay.
goblin teeth, fire salamanders, cockroaches, and birdhouse items. At first, I was thinking that was like a potion recipe or something like that. Baggies. Hey, Canes. What's up, man? Happy to see you here. Got to keep the spirits away. Lots of salt. You... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that's one use for, for all that salt. But it's like everywhere. Maybe that is what they were using it for, though. Maybe they were trying to keep whatever the hell. Gremlins? Is that what y'all called them? You like the spit monsters, Mr. Noodle? Spit monsters? Gross. Cockroaches? Ooh, very true. Very true. Tomatoes? This is all tomato sauce? I mean, I like tomatoes as much as anybody, but my lord, man. That is... That is a ton. Also, I'm pretty sure my parents would be pissed if I just took a broom handle and started smacking the wall with it. A dumb one. It looks like something's been living inside. Wonder if I could fix. Oh yeah, go into the old creepy dumbwaiter. I'm sure it'll be fine. Nothing bad ever happens in these situations. Oh, we have to... Okay, so we just rotate them at the same time. A little weird, but okay, it's working. We're going. We're making our way up. Super speed. <laughs> awesome. Whoa, a hidden room. Man, I wish I had a hidden room in one of the houses I've lived in, you know? We kind of sort of did. Not a house I lived in, but in uh, my aunt's house, my cousin's house. They, in the attic, where there was two bedrooms up in the attic, and uh, one of them, there was a hole in the wall. Couldn't tell you why, but the space on the other side of it was huge. Like, it was it was large enough to be a small secret room, and in fact, that's basically what they used. I mean, obviously, the parents and everybody knew about it, but they kept a bunch of, like, toys and a blanket and everything back there and just kind of chilled in there. Also, I didn't realize we went back into the dump later. <laughs> I kind of... I kind of wanted to explore a little bit more up there. I didn't mean to go straight back down. Nah, oh, we have to do this every time we want to go up to the secret room. Somebody needs to uh, put some WD-40 or something on those those ropes. Hey, Mr. Who with another 5-bit cheer. Thank you, love. Cool. I do appreciate you. A Kane says, something. oh, I wish I had a secret room. Oh, man. Wouldn't that be awesome, though? Just like a for real secret room. Nobody knew about it but you. That'd be dope. That's uh, if I ever get a, a house of my own, like own a house, not renting a house or whatever. That's going to be my office, man. It's going to be a secret ass room. Nobody's going to know about it but me. Mr. Noodle's going to wonder where the hell I disappear to. And uh, every time I stream, but it's never going to find me. So, okay, it doesn't look like there's anything actually to do up here. Well, maybe we missed the desk. We got a fancy key, okay. In a man's torso, you will find my secret to all my... In a man's torso, you will find my secret to all mankind. In a man's torso. Do we have to, like, chop open a dude and, and, and find some, some secrets in his innards? It's a little gross, man. Someone's gonna... Someone was getting close to my number one spot. <laughs> no, sometimes I need to find you. Uh, I guess that's a valid concern. A uh, statue? That would make sense. Put Heck yes, Rue. What'd you get for dinner? Did you end up getting the, uh, the pot stickers that you were hoping Nana would make? I'm pretty excited for dinner myself. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, it's not going to be anything special. Just leftover pizza, but still. Leftover pizza is delicious. If anybody out there hasn't tried it before, they need to try reheating their pizza in the oven. It's delicious. It's also pretty well reheated in like a uh, heavy bottom pan, like a cast iron pan or something like that. Also does pretty well there, but I definitely prefer it in the oven. It's just easier, I think, to throw it in the oven and mm, pizza for breakfast. Oh, breakfast pizza. With like egg and sausage or bacon or both. Uh, peppers, onions. And then it has like this garlicky cheese sauce as the base. Oh my lord, man. I freaking adore breakfast pizza. I mean, normal pizza for breakfast is perfectly fine too. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But breakfast pizza is my shit. We used to order food from like the school, right? Like, uh, I forget it. Like once every... 
three months or, or something, I don't remember how often, uh, you could actually, like, order the same food that they serve you at school, like, for school lunches and whatnot, and, uh, as well as, like, some other things mixed in there and whatnot, and the one thing that I absolutely freaking loved that you could order from them was the breakfast pizzas. They were so good. So good, man. Yeah, I love them. Oh, yeah, we'll go ahead and buy one of those, because I think we actually did end up using our last one at some point. And then, does that leave us enough for Magma Drive? It does. Hell yeah. So that's it for Powered Up. Uh, pretty much all the way. I mean, we can make those other moves more powerful or whatever, but... Eh. Enter the Corrupted Underworld. Or just the Corrupted World. Open the gate to the Underworld. There we are. That's where I was getting mixed up. Yeah, it's freaking delicious, man. I love it. I've made, like, my own as well. And I've seen, like, at, at, uh, at our Walmart, they sell a breakfast pizza on, like, a biscuit crust. That's pretty good, too. I like the, the ones that we used to get from the school better, but these ones are still pretty good. Uh, I usually put a little bit of hot sauce on the top of it, and... Mm. Oh, boy. <laughs> you occasionally go to the cafeteria myself for food. Great salad and burger bars. Hell yeah, dude. And, like, salad is one of those things, too. Like, I love a good salad bar. Because you can't really, unless the lettuce and shit's bad, like, you can't really mess up salad, you know? It's just different types of, of leafy greens thrown in a bowl together with some other vegetables. Like, dude. Or, like, I like, uh, like, rice salads and stuff like that, too. You know, take, like, some rice and put some vegetables and, and leafy greens and shit down in there. Or, uh, some beans. Uh, uh. <laughs> Onion, bacon bits, ranch, cheese, olives, and ham cubes. There you go. I'm not an olive person. Everything else there, I'm 100% for. But I'm not an olive person. I can eat olives. I, I just, nah. Not my favorite. Not at all. The elixir is responding strongly to the other painting. Okay. So I guess now we go this way. <laughs> we go left. Now we go right. Oh, that's right. The, the mirror. It said something about the mirror, didn't it? The mirror is responding to the elixir, and its reflection is growing eerier. Ooh. Ooh. So spoopy. Uh, do I hit it? Okay. Oh, no, we just click on it again. That works. Hey, Noodle! Can you actually chat now? Can you actually hear us? But yeah, Noodle... I don't think Noodle's ever even actually tried an olive, though, have you? I think you just assume you won't like them. Which, honestly, I don't think you will, but... <laughs> like, I don't think you've ever tried one, did you? I eat them every once in a great while. Not by choice, but because, like, I'll forget to ask for no olives on my salad or pizza or whatever. And then, like, I'll pick them out. But, you know, sometimes I miss one in there. So... <laughs> Philosopher's Stone is the key to unlocking the gate of the underworld. Wait, I thought we already got the Philosopher's Stone. Ooh. Creepy handymans. This is like some Full Metal Alchemist looking shit. Wait, did they just put on a new face? <laughs> Bruh, this is a Majora's Mask, man. He put on a new face and now he's got all these new powers. Creepy ass clown bitch. What the fuck? These things are weird as shit. Oh man, they got some health. Uh, hello? <laughs> I'd prefer not to be picked up on my head like that, bro. If you if you don't mind. Okay, look. Dude, if you wanna just die, that would be helpful actually. Okay, those weren't so bad. Creepy looking, but not all that bad. Uh, why did I still take damage? Like, it was blowing up. It was dead doing damage to me. All right, well, that was a thing that we did. Now it's over. And I guess we just go back up the way we came from. Do we come from this side or the other side? Probably came from the other side, huh? Uh, never mind. Yeah, no, we must have came from this side. How do we get back up? Excuse me. This isn't a door, right? Yeah, no. 
Okay, game. What was that face for, Noodle? The creepy ass clown bitch? Is that what you were? <laughs> Is that what that face was for? Oh, okay, there we go. Also, did I see. Did I see a blue orb? No, maybe not. Shit. Let's go back up there. It took us so long to get up there, and then we just jump off. Oh, everything's backwards because we're in the mirror dimension, if that makes sense. Um, and then there should be a hole up here, right? Yeah. Oh, there is a blue orb over there. I don't know how to get to it, though. We probably have to have, like, the either the flying ability or the, uh, like, a super jump or something, I'm assuming, to get up there to get it. I don't know. Annoying. Oh, well. Back we go. I'm assuming Noodle can't actually hear us right now. <laughs> and she's just reacting to the random messages that she's seeing. Okay, so we got the Philosopher's Stone proper now. So do we go back in here? And then what? Did I miss something? Double check the mission. Open the gate to the underworld. Okay. <laughs> what the hell, Noodle? No, you're not the creepy ass clown, bitch. Jesus. <laughs> Noodle's a little special sometimes. Still working and can't hear, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> oh, you're blue now, Rue. I don't know where we're going. Um. Okay, I'm assuming maybe we missed something. Oh, you know what? Maybe we had to go back through, like, where we fought the knight the first time, where we spent all that time stuck. Maybe we can use the Philosopher's Stone in the courtyard there or something to, uh, to open up the underworld. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do? I appreciate the different colors, to be honest. It makes it much easier to, to differentiate between who's who. Whenever I just look over at chat very briefly. Okay, so let's not go through there. Let's go out here. The door's been... What? <laughs> uh, okay. A shield will surround the body. Oh, yeah, so that's the, the star from Mario. Got it. What about this one? Door's been vanquished. Scary. Yeah, we. Okay, let's go through here again, I guess. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Because normally with these sections, we just, like, go through one area into the next, right? Sweet. Okay, so we went out there. Maybe this door won't be... Nope, that door's sealed, too. Nothing around here. Make sure we didn't miss anything out here in the courtyard. Besides the creepy ass enemies again. I already killed you once. Why do I have to kill you again? Uh, don't grab me by the head. That's not nice. <laughs> you knew it had to be an enemy, but it just said noodle and then creepy ass clown bitch. Fair. Yeah, honestly, I can see I can see where you're coming from. <laughs> and I just didn't know you took your obies so seriously. Your obies? What's an obie? 
olives. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what the hell? What's an obi? Man, okay, we must have to go back the other way. I can't see anything here. Yeah, no. Okay. We definitely can't get close to that orb either. The one that we saw. When we got back up top. Lame. Alright, we'll do a little bit of exploring before we uh, give in to the temptation to look at a guide. I don't really like using guides. I will when I have to, but I prefer not to. Although, it'd be nice if the camera would cooperate. What happened? Can we, like, jump off here? No? Okay. I was curious about that last time, but I was scared I would, like, die or something. So I didn't actually try it. But now it seems, uh... Seems impassable. Okay. Alright, through the mirror. We'll go back out. And then... I guess before we go through the other painting... We'll go... Across the bridge here. Although... The other painting did have another path we could go through, didn't it? Because, like, it had a right and left two and we never went both ways I don't think we'll go through here first I guess the paintings are pretty short like it's not a very large area here so we'll just we'll just run through it real quick I guess also I keep forgetting to try I wanted to see since we don't have this devil shard whatever the hell it's called can we even use this gun is it unlimited Okay, so we can use it, it looks like, but we don't have the ability to charge it up. So in that case, we'll, uh, we'll use the grenade gun. I like the grenade gun. Up, up, and up we go. Through the door. I'm assuming if we weren't supposed to be going this way, it wouldn't let us go through the door. Because the game does usually do a pretty decent job of blocking things off. Like, for instance, these paintings here that we uh, are completely locked. So, yeah. So, it must be the other way. Damn it. <laughs> I should have went the other way first. But I thought there was a painting we hadn't gone through. Ooh. That was a big neck crack. Does anybody else ever worry, like, whenever they crack their neck that they're just gonna, like, be paralyzed? Like, <laughs> like, it feels so good to crack your neck, but sometimes it feels a little too good, and you're just, like, in the back of my head, for me at least, I'm just like, this is gonna be it, man. This is what's gonna paralyze me for life right here, that neck crack that I just had. That's gonna be the one. What? No. Come on. Freaking underwater section. I still don't understand why we take damage in this underwater section. Like, when we can, like, basically live underwater. Like, we can just... We can just, uh, freaking... Like, swim around and shoot people for days underwater without any any problems at all. But then this one specific section here just, uh... Does constant damage to us. I would have thought it was, like, a, a pressure thing from being deep underwater or something, but... I mean, it doesn't seem that much deeper than the other ones. Surge of evil is reacting to the power of the elixir. It's starting to activate. Oh, no. Uh, maybe turn on the lights first. And then click. Or, okay, we just walk into it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh... What is... What is this? Is that an eyeball? I'm pretty sure that's an eyeball. Okay. Eyeball's taking us up. <laughs> oh, wait. It just took us out. Well, no. We didn't want to go out. Take me back. Back to the underworld, please. I'm assuming this is the underworld. Or is it another weird, like, mirror dimension thing? Because it does kind of look like the ceiling, doesn't it? The evil darkness is whirling with its mouth open. This must be the gate of the underworld. Oh. 
exciting. <laughs> Shall I use the Philosopher's Stone? Uh, yeah. Throw it in there, dude. Let's go. And then we just jump right on in. Why not? <laughs> that took much longer than it probably should have, but we made it in the end. And somehow we still got a rank B. That doesn't feel right, but okay. Sure, why not? Checking, checking, checking. Let's go. Man, I keep seeing stuff popping up about like uh, the Legend of Zelda uh, Majora's Mask coming to Nintendo Switch Online with like their N64 collection. It's making me actually kind of want to get it. Showdown with Nightmare. Head to the Place of Sacrifice. Let's go. So this could be the last mission. I don't know. But there's a possibility this is it. Because I've read a few different things at this point, so I don't really know how long this game is, but... <laughs> 20, 23, 28, something... I don't know, man. There's a number of levels, that's all I know. These bros are annoying as shit. Let go! <laughs> I hate the way they laugh, too. I don't know how well you guys can hear the laughing that they do, but... Oh. The laughing is terrible. Y'all dead? Uh, drop some stuff, please. Thank you. Was that health? Aw, oh, how kind. How kind of them. Alright, so there's a power-up stone thingy. We don't need that. It's a weird door, but sure, why not? Whoa is right. Also, we should probably switch back to our other weapon. Dante. Don't do it, Dante! Trish. No! <laughs> it's a trap! <gasps> no, Dante, don't! Don't do it! Uh, how about you actually just, like, throw her into Nightmare's mouth? Wait. Is there no way for us to... Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought there was no way to turn the lights on for a moment. Wait, why is Nightmare on the ceiling? How am I supposed to damage him up there? <laughs> We're gonna switch back to Alistair. Uh, because I want to be able to go into Devil Mode. And it just seems to, uh, seems to be a little bit better when fighting Nightmare, at least. We can just go into the devil mode and then, like, tank most hits while also healing our own, uh, life. And then, of course, it also, like, boosts our damage, too, output. Yeah, see, like, the, the Sword of Sparta, I think, is stronger, technically. But the benefits of being able to go into the to this mode, whatever the hell it's called, is outweighs the extra damage output, I feel like. Like, Nightmare's already halfway dead, man. And we have one full health bar. Oh shit, the lights are out. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Dante, don't get caught. <laughs> uh, can we not get stuck on geometry either? That would be nice. Oh, was it like sucking the devil mode shit out of us? I guess that makes sense since the uh, the gun does that too, right? Demon mode activate. Uh, I don't like the big spinny thing. <laughs> Big spinny thing is scary and it hurts. What? I didn't even get to finish him off. 
freaking Mundus. Hey, thank you for the tier one sub there, OptiJack. I appreciate it, bud. Are you actually in stream for once? <laughs> On a four month streak. Humans, what sweets. You should know better than to trust a stranger. Your presence has become a hindrance to my master's bloody scheme. Now die! Hmm, Trish, I think you picked a fight with the wrong person, man. I, uh, <laughs> I don't think this is gonna end so well for you. I'm pretty sure Dante can kick your ass. <laughs> uh, just saying. Although, we should probably heal ourselves real quick, because we are kind of taking some damage. So one thing about playing in easy mode, like, I'm not really paying attention <laughs> to, to being careful at all. I'm just kind of doing whatever. Because for the most part, it's just so freaking easy. Like, ridiculous. Like that. <laughs> Kinda stupid how easy it is, TBH. Hard mode playthrough win. I would actually like to do one, straight up, but like, it's just, man. I would be on the same section forever. Like, <laughs> on normal mode, I spent an hour and a half on the same boss. Like, they actually went from normal to easy, so who knows? I'm probably going to try to play through the game on normal mode, at least, like, on my own time. But, yeah, I don't know about hard mode, man. I don't know if I got that kind of time in my life. <laughs> Why did we save her? Stop being nice, Dante. Don't be a decent person. Dante. Be a dick. Let her die. Why did you save my life? Because you look like my mother. Because you look like my mother. Fuck, it's Superman v. Batman all over again. The next time we meet, it won't be like this. <laughs> it's the absolute worst excuse. I hated, I hated Batman v. Superman or whatever the fuck it was called. For that same reason, like... <laughs> you may look like my mother, but you're nowhere close to her. You have no soul. You have the face, but you'll never have her fire. Uh, Dante be mad, man. Bruh. But yeah, like, I liked the rest of that movie, except for that. Whenever they freaking became friends with the two of them, like, joined up because, oh, our moms have the same name. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's just, ah, uh, it's so dumb. It irritates the hell out of me. The rest of the movie was decent, and then you had to ruin it with that. Terrible. Terrible. But yeah, bro. If you want to try playing this game on hard mode, I'll totally let you uh, borrow it sometime. Like, <laughs> feel free, man. I'll uh, I'll try it. I'll, I'll watch you uh, struggle on the same boss for three hours straight. <laughs> Although, to play it on hard mode, you have to beat it on easy, or not on easy, on normal mode first. And then I think there's a uh, another difficulty after hard mode, too, like a nightmare mode or something like that. Freaking insane. Actually ridiculous. I would love to see a uh, speedrun of it though. Like somebody actually really good at the game. Play through the whole thing on the hardest difficulty. And probably in less time than it will take me to beat it on easy. Pulsate the heart and open the last gate. I'm starting to think 23 was the right one. <laughs> Okay, well that one's got like some bones blocked in there or whatever, so it looks like we can't open that door. And then, what's this? Uh, okay, we can go through this one. That'd be awesome, yeah, for sure, man. And I, I guarantee you it's been done by someone. Like, speedrunners are just absolutely insane. There's probably a lot of cheese in this game too, and just, I mean, I don't know it. Why would I know it? This is only my second time ever playing the game. And I don't even really remember the first, like. <laughs> Is that a fucking heart? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I mean, the mission was to pulsate the heart, so. Alright, so that's still locked. 
Uh, do we pulsate the heart by hitting it? <laughs> Just beat on it a little bit? Give it a good, a good uh, pounding or two? Nope, I guess not. Okay. It's worth a shot. Uh, we actually do need a Vitality Star, don't we? We didn't buy one of those. So we'll get a Vitality Star. And then, I mean, I don't think we need more health, so I'm not going to worry about the blue orbs. And then I guess just, like, level up this shit. Yeah, sure, why not? Just buy as much of these things as it'll let us. I don't know how many, like, levels of that you can buy. If it's, like, unlimited and it just gets more and more powerful each and every time. Or if they're, like, you can only buy it three times, you know? Like, I, I don't know. Jumping down. Uh, ooh. That's a weird-ass effect, man. The way the, the world was, like, pulsing around us. Ow! Hey, uh... D no? <laughs> what the hell? That is not okay, weird tentacle things. I only like my tentacle porn in anime, okay? Not in real life. Uh... <laughs> Can we, like, go up here or something? No, I think this is just a dead end. Okay. Let's just get the fuck out, please. You know, if Trish looked like Dante's Mund uh, mother and Mundus was her master and Mundus had Virgil too, did Mundus do something to make her look like his mom? No, I think Mundus actually just is our dad. Like, I think Sparta and, uh, and Mundus are one and the same. Maybe Mundus was, like... Whoa, why is he sucking out our demon power? Wait, what? Anyways, no, no, yeah. So, no, I think Mundus and Sparta are, like, one and the same. Maybe he was manipulated or corrupted somehow. Or maybe just, you know, uh, Dante's mother just made up stories to make his dad seem like a decent person. When in reality, you know, he was a dickhead all along. Sounds like the sort of thing a mother might tell their small child, you know? Like, yeah, your dad was a demon, but he was actually a nice guy. Like, I doubt there's very many mothers out there who want to tell their child that, hey, your dad was actually a giant murderous asshole, you know? <laughs> Can we get out of the exploding body parts, please? <laughs> it's not helping us. Uh, more tentacles? Okay, you don't have to, like, focus on the tentacles. Just push them back a little bit and then run. Oh, branching path. Which way do we go? Right first. Ah, uh, get off me. Uh, okay. Wrong way. That's fine. You always want to go the wrong way first anyways. So, you know what? I'll take it. That would be a twist? That's my guess. Obviously, I don't actually remember for sure. Because it has been, like, 3,000 years since I've played this game. But, <laughs> that's my guess, though. I kind of like the lighting. Not gonna lie. For a PS2 game, it's not bad. Like, the, the little flashlight effect that we have on the front of our character. On the front of Dante. I can dig it. Uh, this artery's looking a little foul, man. I think you might want to see a doctor. A cardiologist or something. I don't think they're meant to be... Oh, no, don't attack them with that. Uh, <laughs> okay, just shoot them, actually. Well, we can keep out the Alistair, but, uh, just shoot them with the grenade launcher. Do not hit them. If we hit them, apparently they'll turn into multiple... Well, they'll multiply, I guess. Would make more sense, you know? I can word. Uh, <laughs> so let's just not do that. Uh, if you want to die... Okay, well, this one's multiplying anyways, so, like... I'm confused. Maybe that person that wrote the guide didn't know what they were talking about. Maybe they just always multiply. I can speak English good. It's only my native language, like... <laughs> Yes. 
Someday I want to move to Japan to be a English teacher. I just have to learn English first, but I don't think that should be too hard. <laughs> that is awesome though, that like that is an actual path that you can take, right? Like move to another country and just become a teacher of your native language. That's like a legit way to make money and, and, and uh, you know, to pay your bills. Like, that's freaking awesome, man. The only problem for me is I absolutely refuse to fly. Like, if I have ever have to get on an airplane, you better knock me the fuck out. Like, you better give me some drugs so I am just asleep from the time I sit down to the time we land. Otherwise, I don't think I'd be able to do it, man. It's like my anxiety and panic is bad enough. You put me on an airplane, however high up in the sky, and I'm just, nope, not gonna happen. I was just telling Noodle the other day that like we need to see if there's a cruise that goes from America to Japan because uh, <laughs> I would rather be on a ship out in the middle of the ocean than, no, you'd rather fly than go by boat? I'm the opposite, man. I am definitely the opposite. Noodle was the same though. Noodle, Noodle agrees with you. She would rather fly than uh, be on a boat. But uh, yeah, no, I'd rather, I'd rather go on a boat, especially like a giant cruise liner, right? Because cruise liners are massive. Like if you're in the middle of the ship or whatever, you're not even gonna know that you're on a boat. Like, unless you're looking out the window or, or up on the deck, like it's just gonna seem like you're in a, a giant ass hotel room. So personally, I'd much rather be on a boat. Plus I can sing, uh, I'm on a boat, you know? I can just rock that out the entire time. Orbs, 871. You know what I really want to play on stream? This is like one of my life goals is to uh, be able to do this often enough that I can have a day of doing like Nintendo related shit, which is what I've mentioned before. But really, really what I want to do, I want to get really good at Mario games, man. Because, like, I'm decent at Mario games, but I'm not amazing, right? But I would love to be able to do Mario ROM hacks and shit like that. Or uh, properly speedrun. Like, I had a, a... I don't remember exactly what it was. Top 50, top 75 times, something like that. In Super Mario Brothers 3. Like I said, I'm decent, but I'm, I'm not amazing. And I don't have the time to become amazing at it. But man, if I did, uh, especially because I just freaking love Mario games too. Like Mario games are my shit. <laughs> so I'd love to do that. Also, uh, this is not what I expected for the underworld. It's very bright. There's like some weird wedding music going on in the background here. Uh, hello Zeus. <laughs> Yeah, maybe not. Strange and ironic that it will end the same way. Anuani <laughs> has favored you this time. Look there. Dad? Or Trish? It's Trish. Trish. Let her die. Think about it. Blink. She dies. Oh shit, I just you blinked. <laughs> Asshole. Ah, Trish saved us, guys. Redemption arc. How sweet of her. Trish! No! Useless scum. Failure is one thing, but taking an odd behavior like that. What is the matter? It is time to end your pitiful life. Now. Oh, glowy red eyes deflected his blow. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> You pissed Dante off, man. 
Come out and show yourself, Moondus! Done, done, done. <laughs> Don't be a bitch, Moondus. Is is Moondus just a glowing ball of light? Ooh. Moondus got wings. How fancy. He's also got a giant hole in his chest. Is that where Sparta stabbed him before? And now we're in space. Cool. <laughs> sure. Why not, man? I am Sparta's son. Why, my mother? That useless being. Oh. If you need a mother, I can create it. As many as you want. Mommy? Just like I created Trish. Silence! Pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. This is this is pretty sick. The whole way being in outer space thing is a little weird, but uh, you know what? It's fine. Limited resources on the PS2 and all that. Like, there we go. Full freaking devil mode. Let's do this. This reminds me of the ending of Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> Just with the, the giant dude and us flying and all that. Yup. Uh, can I shoot? I can, okay. I assume there's no reason to ever stop shooting. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. We're doing some damage. Is there, like, any other moves I can do? Okay, I can do, like, a drill attack. And that's pretty much it. Okay. We got this shooty McShooty thing and a drill attack. That's all we got. That's all we need. I didn't realize we're actually, like, already doing damage to him, too. So this isn't... This isn't going all that bad. <laughs> Are we supposed to be aiming for like a specific part of his body? Like maybe that hole in his chest? I'm assuming that's what we should be trying to hit, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, it seems to be doing damage pretty much no matter what. I hope there's a round two to this fight. Because like... Mundus is almost dead and that's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Like, come on, man. I know Moondus is a bitch and all, but surely, surely it's not that easy. Oh, Dante got hit. I don't know, guys. It's not looking good for Dante. There's always a phase two for bosses. There's no way. I agree. Plus, we didn't even get to use the sick-ass Sparta sword, man. Here we go. I like his design. So the grenade launcher is doing damage. Not a whole lot, but it is doing damage. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, guys, <laughs> uh, I need out of the lava, please. <laughs> oh no, that was, uh, that was bad. <laughs> no, Dante, out of the lava, Dante. Dante, what are you doing? <laughs> God damn it, Dante. <laughs> oh no, that was almost bad. <laughs> <laughs> Stream, really? You can't blame me, man. I wasn't doing it. It was Dante. It's all Dante's fault. Hit the weird orb thingy. Give me more weird orbs. I want to fight the orbs, please. Orbs seem to be giving me uh, devil power. Oh, look at the, the dragon, bro. 
Uh, Dragon Bro was really easy to take down and like gave us a full revive. Okay, you're on break now. Just in time for what very well may be the final boss. Look. Oh, put a freaking platform in my way, really? Bought some snacks too since you're sure I'm almost out. What kind of snacks? I like snacks. Speaking of, I have a pack of crackers downstairs I forgot about. Stop guarding, you bitch. Show me the hole in your chest. Remember who gave it to you. Noodle, you're awesome. You know that she is. She is the best. Phase three, question mark? Eh? Maybe? Was that it? Round three, let's go. Low mano a mano. Fist on fist. Sword to sword. No? Nothing? Maybe not. That might be it, guys. He'd die without me. I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. But <laughs> I'd rather not find out, though. My mother risked her life for me. And now you, too. I should have saved you. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light. light, light. What the fuck? <laughs> I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light. <laughs> That's a very sweet thing, but like, bruh, you hardly know her, for one. Like, <laughs> and two, the way his voice like broke on, on the light part, I'm sorry. It's meant to be a sweet moment, but I couldn't help but laugh just a little bit there. Awkward, yeah. <laughs> like, this mm. was my mother's. We just met, bro. I'm sorry. Now I'm giving it to you. Think we work better as friends. <laughs> my father's also here now. Rest in peace. Okay, so I don't know, man. I'm thinking that might have been it. Mission clear. Clear time, 9 minutes, 26 seconds. We got uh, zero orbs, really? Trash. Bonus orbs for days. So how awkward is the I'm back bitches going to be? I, uh... You mean Trish or Mundus? I'm still expecting Mundus to come back. I don't think Trish is dead dead, though. But I don't think she's going to come back as, like, a bad guy. I don't think. Guess we'll find out. Both. Mundus controls Trish one last time. And we have to be the one to kill her now? Hmm. Mission 23? Mission 23. Mother's Guide. Escape Mallet Island before it collapses. Oh, okay. Okay, so we got an escape mission. Uh... What if we just stay here with Trish? I guess that's not an option. Okay. <laughs> the GTFO, man. Hopefully, I remember the map well enough to get out of here. So this is basically like uh, the end of Metroid. You just gotta escape. You got the big battle, and then you gotta get the fuck out. Run, you doof. I'm running. I wanted to check on Trish. Wait, do we actually have to kill these dudes, or can we just go? Fuck, we actually have to kill them, don't we? Wait, no, that's not how we got in here, though. We got in here through this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you see the snacks? I did, I did, I did. I'm sorry, I, I read it, but I was letting the cutscene play. I like all of those snacks. Those all sound like wonderful snacks. Fungians, Cool Ranch Doritos, regular Doritos, and salsa. I mean, regular Doritos and salsa alone would have been enough for me, so... Stop trying to hit the door, you dumbass. You can't hit it right now. Just hopefully we can go through the door after just killing these dudes. I hope we didn't have to kill the 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 weird bat bros. Die, you dick. Was that the last one? Was there any more in here? 
just freaking die already. Holy shit, those things take forever to actually die. But yeah, no, no, no. Thank you. I do appreciate it, love. Saucy is medium, not mild. That's fine. I like... I prefer mild usually because I think it has more flavor. But, uh, I mean, I'm fine with medium. I like spicy things. I mean, in the medium, uh, salsa from Dollar General is hardly spicy to begin with. Like, uh, okay, I was gonna say, are we not going up? Well, the Doritos are not on sale as always. That's lame. <laughs> it is what it is, I suppose, but that's lame. Everything should just always be on sale. You know? If corporate greed wasn't such a big deal. <laughs> oh, that's that's weird. The mission's like restarting from here. I'm not going to waste my time anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the wrong way. It feels like that'd be the right way out of here, but it's not. It's a different brand this time, so it's not the Dollar General uh, salsa. Is it that? Uh, is it that other one that you got me? That one time? I don't remember the name of it, but the like the the smaller jar instead of the full size jar. All right, I guess we got to kill the bugs before we're allowed out of here. Hopefully, we can find the bugs this time. You don't like the Doritos being on sale? What are you talking about? I was saying I wish the Doritos were always on sale. Like, I wish everything was always on sale. It's awkward how, like, sometimes you can go through doors without killing everything, and then other times you have to kill everything to get through. It'd be nice if there was consistency or at least some way of knowing which one you were going to have to deal with. So that I would know, like, before I run past all the enemies, if I need to kill them or not. On the border? Okay, yeah. I mean, on the border's fine. That's, like, a name brand, so. Aw, oh, snap, guys. What's happening? Oh, I misread your message. Okay, I thought you said they weren't on sale, as always. They were on sale, as always. Okay, okay. The, like, two for five or whatever. Probably be putting new signs up for them. Why did they change? Oh, something's happening. Is this the final fight with Mundus? Yes, let's go, Mundus. Uts brings it. I'm not going anywhere. Besides, there's no place to go. Look around. This will be your burial ground as well. Dun, dun, dun. Time to murder each other. It's weird that Uts brings it. <laughs> what is the matter? Here your powers are weak, human. I mean, I took you down easy enough. No. Oh, uh, is that our mother or Trish? You can do it. What? I think that's our mom. Mother. Dante, use my power. Oh yeah, she's back, bitch. Trish. Hut springs the salsa. Oh, okay, not the Doritos. Feed your power and Trish's power into your guns, Ebony and Ivory. Then use your Devil Trigger and blast a big shot into Mundus. Let's give it. X gonna give it to you. <laughs> this weapon is currently equipped. Dope. Let's go. How you like me now, Mundus? I got <laughs> Ebony and Ivory. It looks like we have a winner. Jackpot. Mm, Alfredo. Noodle took the extra Alfredo from us going out to lunch to work with her. I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> nah. You ain't gonna do shit. 
moon disc. Goodbye. And when you do come back, give my regards to my son, Bet. will ya? Catch that. Catch that little thing right there. Give your regards to my son. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Daddy Dante. It's kind of weird, like, if him and Trish hook up, he was saying, like, how <laughs> Trish looks exactly like his mother. Uh, <laughs> just a little weird. It's like, I would feel awkward dating someone Trish, that looks exactly like my mother. Devils never cry. I mean, like, These I'm not tears. Billie Eilish's brother, you know? Tears are a gift only humans have. Aw, oh, fuck, she's human! We're too late. The pizza has Alfredo on it? Eat that? You're, that's true. That's true. Why is this so awkward? <laughs> no, Trish. It's never too late. Well, like, y'all don't even know each other. <laughs> did you just say Daddy Dante? A moment ago, I did, yes. And we humans never give up. Are you ready? Yes. I mean, I'd be okay with Daddy Dante. Wink, wink. <laughs> there's no way, man. After, like, falling through all of that rubble and shit, there's no way this plane would fucking work. Like... Bruh. That's some plot armor right there. Wait, are we controlling the plane? Oh, yep, yep. We got a flying mission now. <laughs> uh, I should probably be shooting. Do I even have to steer? I feel like it's steering entirely for me. Is this an easy mode thing? Okay, well, I probably could have steered out of the way of that, but... <laughs> Cool ending at least? Hell yeah. Oh, okay. The ending's making me a wee bit nauseous, though. It's a little too much. A little too much, uh, shakage. There we go. I think we're okay now. Hey, We're free! Oh, that's a pretty purple. I like that. That's a really nice purple color. And explosions, and everybody knows explosions are just mm, a plus. The sky, so clear, so blue. The sky is fair. It'll always be above everyone's head. No different. Like the sky, I feel like my heart is becoming clear. The sky will always be above everyone. No different. Actually, there's these things called astronauts, you see. Let's not forget, though, <laughs> the underworld's evil is still alive. They will someday return. There's no need to worry, right? Because the world has the legendary Dark Knight Dante and his sidekick. <laughs> and his sidekick? Wink. Aw, oh, you. <laughs> God. <laughs> that ending is cheesy as hell. Oh fuck. Devil never cry. Yes. Okay, great. Where's the pl place? Oh, we're skipping a little bit. We'll be right there. This one has the password. Sounds heavy. Okay. Let's get it over with in 10 minutes. I can't let a single one of those suckers live. 5 minutes. <laughs> More than enough. Oh, oh. <laughs> we be skipping, but that's the end. We did it. Oh, man. A few skips, but good ending. Uh, cheesy as hell. <laughs> it's more like it. It was good. It was good. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. She's putting a lot of trust in that top, isn't she? I mean, she's like... She's part devil or whatever. Maybe she's got like some magic holding her titties in the in the top. <laughs> oh man. 
Yeah, it's a fun game. I, I'm upset that I had to play it on easy mode, but outside of that, fun game. Fun game. I'm excited to play 2 and 3. Can we skip? Normally I like letting the credits play out, but uh, all these skips are kind of getting to me. Yep, okay. So I can't skip it. Just gonna, I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. <laughs> So what now? I don't know, honestly. Um, right now, we're going to sit here and BS a little bit. Posture check. You got it, man. Ugh. Got to sit up straight. Take the moment to stretch a little bit, too. It's probably a good time to run an ad, too, since we're just uh, watching the end credits. Don't think we're going to miss anything le uh, here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while this just plays out. You need to get better at that myself. I mean, honestly, they've done studies and, like, good posture isn't necessarily better for you. Like, you should just be comfortable, really, is the is the thing. Um, like, yeah. But anyways... You only have seven minutes left in your break, your feet hurt, and you're going to have to run all over the damn store for the rest of the night. I'm sorry, love. At least you're only, like, what, two hours? Two hours out before the end of your shift? So, not too much longer. What is voice ban? I won't talk for, what is it, two minutes, five minutes, whatever it is. I'll just mute my microphone. <laughs> Hence why it's so expensive, because, like, yeah. That'd be awkward as hell. I know, right? That's why I made it, like, one of the most expensive ones, because, yeah. Come set the ad for me? I don't work there, love. I can't. I mean, if your boss wants to pay me... To, to come set the ad for her. I guess I could, but... <laughs> She's gonna have to pay me what I get paid uh, at my other job, though. <laughs> that sounds boring. Yeah, exactly. So I, I, uh, I honestly don't think it's a really good option, but... Like, I would still type in chat if I wasn't in the middle of playing a game or whatever. I could see it being useful, too, if, like, somebody knows the game we're playing and a uh, really good cutscene starting to come up or something like that. Then, like, I could see it being useful for that situation, but that's pretty much it. You're sure your manager won't mind? Oh, I'm sure they won't either, but I mind. Like, I want to be paid for my time. <laughs> she might like you just keeping me from doing things to the store. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, stop you from being a little hellion. Mission clear. Uh, we got that like the 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 baby music in the background, the the lullaby style music, with I'm assuming that's a picture of our mother and our pendant. Ah, uh, the feels, man, so many feels. Devil hunter ranking, secret missions. Yep, we didn't do any of them because we are <laughs> we are good at this game. Uh, memory card slot one, please. Number two. All right, so what are we going to do now? That's a good question. Um, man, I honestly don't know. I didn't have much of a plan. There's not enough time. Oh, hold on. Ending cutscene. Yeah, I think you're right. This is the cutscene from the beginning, isn't it? Trash. Uh, how am I a Hellion? You know how you're a Hellion. Need to get a bag, put everything in. You're going to Walmart tomorrow before work to get everything? Okay. That's fine. Get whatever you need for the baby shower. We still got to figure out if they're still having the baby shower or what we're gonna do, or what they're going to do about that. 
Speaking of Walmart, guess who's using that trip as an excuse to go to Petco and finally get a fish? Hell yeah, dude. We need to clean out our uh, our, our fish tank so we can build our terrarium back up for a, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, hermit crab and shit. She was like, should I take you home tonight? I said, yes, I bought you a tea. Bribing your manager with tea. I'll send a pick in Discord when I do it. I wish we could like skip this or something. Well, well, what do we have here? Nature call. Okay, reset the audio on that there. Then we'll just we'll just go back over to this scene. Or we just Alrighty guys. Uh you wanted to Shit, yeah, I mean, normally we would stream for another hour, but I don't feel like that's enough time to really get into any PS2 games. Um, there's not enough people here to do, like, community stuff, because Noodle's got to go. Nate must have been busy today. Uh, OptiJack got on and then got right off. So I don't know, guys. We might just call it a little bit of an early night. Yeah, I think we're going to end it early tonight. Don't really like doing that, but I think that's what we're going to have to do. Would help me sleep at night. Well, Unless you want a quick game of Kahoot, my controller just <laughs> fell off the desk because it's vibrating. Uh, <laughs> I, I would be down for Kahoot, but Noodle's going back to work in, what, a minute? Two minutes? So, sadly, I don't think that's going to work out. But Kahoot will definitely be on the list of things to do on Wednesday, Rue. What time did you say you get off work? A little bit later. This game is definitely just just a wee bit buggy. <laughs> oh yeah, shit, boo. Like, it, it you could do a shitty so one far. like poker. I mean, I guess I could. But I don't know. I gotta cut all that chicken up and shit anyway. So maybe we will just call it a one hour early tonight. Save my strength for the twelve hour stream that we're gonna be doing here in a little while. Noodle, I don't know if I told you about the uh, twelve hour stream. Uh, but yeah, I'll be doing a 12 hour stream again soon. So if you want to donate points to that love, feel free, but you don't have to, of course. No idea. Uh, but yeah, that, that community challenge is up and going for everyone to donate to. Uh, one last time before I go for anybody else watching the, whatchamacallit, tomorrow is most likely canceled, sadly. The, uh, the podcast tomorrow night probably won't be able to do that, uh, because my co-host has some things going on. So, you know, and then, uh... Other than that, though, all of the streams this week are going to be normal. Uh, nothing special going on, except for the fact that next week, we will be starting a new game. We'll be playing Resident Evil 3 on Saturdays, uh, trying to beat that up. So we're going back. We did a PlayStation 5 game, then we did a PlayStation 2 game, now we gotta do a PlayStation 1 game. <laughs> so yeah, skipping a little bit all over the place, but we're gonna be playing some Resident Evil 3, because I want to be able to play to completion the Resident Evil games on PS2 and whatnot, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. But all right, guys, uh, I guess that's it. Thank you, everybody, for coming to join me. Thank you for donating the 2,000 points, Noodle. I appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Have a good afternoon. And I saw your message. 4.30 my time, 6.30. Or 4.30 your time, 6.30 mine-ish. Okay. Okay. Good. Because I want to I wanna try to make sure you can be included in that room. But all right, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Ring. What's that do? I've created a ring of toadstools to protect the house, my family, and this book. It seems impenetrable. The toadstool ring is the only place I am assured of safety. So wait, boggarts can't go through toadstool rings or just creepy, crawly, mystical things in general? 